Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Battle Court High Lie. Tonight's game day will feature the Chargers and the Renegades. Let's begin with player introductions for tonight's game day. We'll be introducing first the away team, the Chargers. Out first, number 77, El Barba. Number four, Bradley. Number 32, Ubia. Your captain of the Chargers, number 55, Benny. Number 91, Eterbide. And number 54, Zuleika. And now introducing the home team, the Renegades. From Miami, Florida, number 10, Joseph. From Miami, Florida, number seven, Ben. From San Sebastian, number 46, Artha. From Mutriku, number 40, Goenaga. From Mutriku, number 87, Arats. And your captain of the Renegades from Mutriku, number 20, Gosheri. And with that, the players salute you, the fans, and we are ready to begin tonight's game day. And today is particularly exciting because the WJL is officially introducing Battle Court Highline Free Bets, a contest for our remote fans. So if you're watching us from home and want to, want to up the ante, all you need to do is scan the QR code on the screen or go to battlecourt.com to play along. This game will go live every Friday game day this month in April. Winners will earn merchandise and gift cards and cash prizes every week. Plus, the overall contest winner will get a free trip down to Miami to experience Championship 5 in person. As a VIP guest, you must be 18 or older to play and win. Terms and conditions apply. And thank you, Stu. With that, we are ready to begin tonight's game day top-ranked doubles matchup. Gosheri and Arats take on Zuleika and Benny. What a way to get the game day started. Two of the top-ranked doubles teams Two of the top teams in our standings. Stu, ready to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to begin. Zuleika will have the serve for the Chargers. Zuleika serves, we begin. Arats on the backhand, the inside. Benny's there, backhand from the eight line. Rebote forehand by Gosheri. Benny on the backhand from the 10 line. Gosheri deep in the backcourt. Benny's there. That ball touched the overhead screen. That's out of play. First point of this match goes to. The Renegades, Gosheri and Arats. Reminder of the scoring in battle court, ladies and gentlemen. The first team to reach six points wins the set. First team to win two sets wins the match. The yeah, biggest thing to look out for tonight, how much rust do these Chargers have? It's been I mean, almost a month here, about three full weeks since the last time we saw them. That was back on March 18th. Zulaika and Benny coming into this one, playing well at 5-1, and one, but Gosheri and Arats coming off a tough loss. You know they're going to be eager to play tonight. There's a backhand by Benny, caught by Arats. Arats from the 12 line to the inside. 
Backhand by Arats. Benny on the forehand from the 10 line. Benny from the 11. Powerful forehand to the inside. Will score. Well thrown by Zuleika. We are tied up. 1-1. One, one. Yeah, Rots was expecting more of that the high carambola or the three wall play. He was moving towards the outside of the court to try to take something in the air. You like it just powered it to the inside and wasn't enough time for Arats to respond to get back in there to make a play on it. Here's the backhand by Arats. Benny goes deep. That clears the overhead screen. Robote left side by Goschetti. Caught by Benny. Benny from the forehand at the 12 line. Backhand by Goschetti. Robote coming out. That Robote is that rebound off the back wall. Played by Zuleika. Robote forehand saved by Zuleika. Gosheri has it to six line. Low and hard to the inside. Good catch by Benny. Backhand again. Robote coming out again. Beautiful catch by Zuleika at the nine line. Goes to the outside. Arats makes the save. To the inside it goes. Benny from the eight line. Robote forehand laid up. Arats makes the catch. Here's the backhand by Guschetti. Zuleika, powerful forehand Robote, wall to wall, out to the Robote. Guschetti's there. Benny moves up, takes it in the air at the nine line. Ball tipped in the backcourt. Two points for Zuleika and Benny. Zuleika has the serve for the Chargers. Seen a couple more misses by Rots in the backcourt that we're used to seeing. And dating back to that last match against Douglas and Nicholas, the final three or four points went all by misses in the backcourt. Now Rots is really the anchor of this team. It allows Gosheri to play as aggressively as he typically does up there in the front court. Let's see if he can lock back into this one here with that early miss. Arats takes the serve on the left side, backhand to the inside. Robote for Benny. Boucher makes the catch in the air at the seven. Powerfully to the inside it goes. Benny's there. Here's the backhand. Backhand by Arats. Robote left side. Cut off in the air by Zuleika. It's like a split placement caught in the air by Gosheri. Gosheri's Costalo Tuol is stopped by Zuleika. Powerful, powerful Carambola from the forehand of Zuleika will score. That is three points for Zuleika and Benny. Zuleika serves. A little bit surprising Gosheri went with the two wall with Zuleika that far to the outside already. And again, at that angle, you either whip something hard back to Benny on the inside, and he's very capable of making the catch, or you go with the two wall. It tends to open up a little bit more when thrown from the outside of the court. Just good defense, and then a better throw on the back end brings the Chargers to a 3-1 lead. That serve will score four points for Zuleika, and Benny Zuleika serves. One of the best serves on the roster. That one came in low, crossing deep in the backcourt basically on the floor by the time Arats tried to make a play. Right. 
like a higher this time, deeper to the backcourt. Backhand by Rots. Bashiri, drop shot. Zuleika's on it. Backhand to the inside. Arats is there. Backhand. Benny's there. Backhand from the 12. Robote left side to the inside. Here's the catch. With solid two balls on the pad, that is bad. Five points for Zuleika and Benny, possible set point. And even if that ball lands in, Zuleika's got something to his right side from the outside that not gonna be easy for the Renegades to return. And just not as sharp as we're used to seeing this Renegades team. Not, not that explosive play from Gosheri up in the front. As you like it, Benny just kind of taking advantage of some sloppy play by the Renegades early on. Five points looking to close out this set. Here's a backhand by Rots, caught by Benny. Backhand by Goshetti. Backhand to all, scooped up, but tipped. Point and set for Zuleika and Benny winning the first set, 6-1. We'll put two minutes on the board, come back out and play our next set. And yeah, a little bit surprising to start off the game day. They can go sharing a rots. In their last match against Douglas and Nicholas, they won set one. They were leading the second set 3-0, ended up losing 6-3, led set three, three nothing. They ended up losing that set 6-3 as well. So three sets in a row now dating back to their last match. That's not the type of streak we're used to seeing with this top doubles team of the Renegades. But we knew it was gonna to be tough coming into this one. Zuleika and Benny, five and one put together the best record in this top rank group. We got Carbile and Manu there, one and five. Gosherian and Rots, four and two. Douglas and Nicholas, six and two. But just that one loss for Zuleika and Benny. And not much rust as well, Stu. Could have been a, you know, something that people were talking about coming into it, but didn't appear there in set one. Reminder, you're watching Battle Court live from the Magic City Highlight Fronton in Miami, Florida. We are currently in our first of six scheduled matches. Here's some replays from the first set. Yeah, see a Rots. I mean, he's positioned in the middle of the court expecting the high carambola or the three wall. And this time gives more of a split placement. Gosheri responds to it, shoots the two wall again. I mean, Zuleika gets there in plenty of time, almost overruns it to the forehand. Then coming back to a Rots, that ball's got a lot of spin. Very difficult to control. Good catch there by Benny in the corner. A little backhand two wall. Not opening up enough, but it does score. 6-1. So Zuleika and Benny take the opening set. Set two, about ready to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to begin our second set. Sherry will have the serve for the Renegades. Here's the backhand by Benny. Robote left side. Benny on the catch. Here's the backhand by Goshetti. Powerfully thrown, beautifully caught by Benny. Powerful backhand in and out of the Sesta of Zuleika. First point of the second set goes to Gosheri and Arats. Gosheri serves. Now you see the adjustment early on for the Renegades in this set. Gosheri playing a lot deeper. I mean, he has a lot of trust in his younger brother, Arats, but 
in these last few sets. He's missed a few more than we're used to seeing, so he's going to play a little bit deeper and try to take matters into his own hands. Fault under serve. Battle court rules allow for two serves. Second serve must be good. A good serve lands between the four and seven line. Zuleika picks the serve, backhand, lightly thrown. Not much of a rebote there. Here's Benny on the forehand from the 11 line. Benny from the backhand, hard to the inside, rebote. Here's a catch by Benny. Benny from the forehand, Sherry makes the catch. Hard to the inside, Benny, beautiful catch to the 11 line. Here's a backhand by Benny. Gosheri's there, backhand. Low and hard to the inside, Benny's there again. Here's the backhand from the 11 line. Rots on the catch, hard to the inside. Here's a backhand by Zuleika. Good catch by Benny. Quick bounce on the forehand. Sherry back to the 10 line, backhand of the inside, midcourt placement. Coasty to the inside, Aratz is there. Rebote forehand. Rebote forehand by Zuleika. Sherry cuts it off, winds up. Powerful Costado to the inside. Benny, what, a, what catch. a catch on the bounce at the 13 line. Forehand by Benny. Robote, left side. There's a backhand by Rots. Robote left side. Benny from the forehand to the inside. Rots will let it pass out to the Robote. Zuleika, big bounce. This one caught by Benny. Benny with the Cortada, a little too high. Sherry rifles it back from the Costalo. Benny's there. Sherry calls for it, lays it up, takes a bit off it. Floater picked up by Gosheri, by Zuleika rather. Split placement. Zuleika was calling for it. Benny was there the whole way. Point four goes Sherry and Arats. Sometimes you just got to make the decision. If you're the backcourter and you have it lined up, as Benny did, he was there in plenty of time. You just got to you just gotta go for it. At the last second, Zuleika pulled his cest away, tried to dig it out. That's not one the Chargers should have given away right there. Fault under serve. Second serve must be good. Here's the backhand by Benny. It's a backhand to all. Rots with plenty of time to make the catch on the forehand. Benny from the 10 line. Backhand to the inside. 
Benny, fine catch. Nice return from the 12. Rods takes it on the bounce deep in the backcourt. Here's Benny from the 11. Backhand. Beautiful catch by Benny, pulling it off the sidewall, putting it back on the sidewall. Difficult play. The two all is in the pad. Three points for Gosheri and Aratz. Gosheri served. And some longer rallies early on than Zuleika. Trying to throw something to mix it up. The two all and drop too low. And that was the one thing that I thought was probably going to take a little bit of time to get back up to speed is that two wall, figuring out how the sidewall reacts. And it's been a little bit of time since the Chargers have been out there on the court. They're not nearly as sharp as these Renegades. They just played last week. Here's Rots on the backhand from the 10 line to the inside. Catch by Benny. Robote. Here's the backhand by Gosheri. Catch and return by Benny. Backhand by Rots. Robote coming out. Rots on the catch. Here's a backhand from the 13 line. Robote forehand. Gosheri, Robote to the inside. Benny sets up at the nine line, forehand. Gosheri cuts it off, backhand. Drops to the back wall, Robote forehand by Zuleika. Here's the backhand by Zuleika to the inside. Aratz is there. Backhand from the 11 line. Powerful forehand by Benny. Cut off by Aratz at the 11. Benny, forehand from the 12. Zuleika from the inside. Here's Rots, backhand from the 12. Rote forehand outside, placement not outside enough. Stop by Gosheri. He rifles it back. It's a tough one for Benny. He's not able to make the play. Four points for Gosheri and Aratz. Gosheri serves. And again, just seemed a little bit of impatience up there in the front court by Zuleika. I mean, shoots an outside placement, but that's not even outside the boundary line. Gosheri gets there in plenty of time, low and hard, and that's just a and tough to line everything up and time it perfectly to turn that Robote. I believe that's really the first miss. I mean, if you can say that's a miss for Benny there in the backcourt. I mean, his catching has been spot on, looks very relaxed. Some of the best we've seen him in this season. Fine catch by Benny off a hard serve by Gosheri. Zuleika, splitter, red by Rots. Rots tries to get it across the side wall, it does. Benny digs out this Robote. Rots, fine catch. 
Benny's going to make the Chabote from the 11 line. Gosheri cuts it off, rifles it outside where it scores. Five points. Five straight points for Gosheri and Rots. Possible set point. The Filo Costado straight to the outside. Shoulder level throw from the left side of the player's body. Just hard to react in time. Zuleika had it lined up. He was there and just couldn't control it. So much power, both sides for Gosheri makes him such a tough opponent up there in the front court. Here's a backhand by Benning. Arat, backhand. Here's a backhand by Arat. Robote coming out. Robote forehand to the inside. Gosheri's there. Benning from the 11. Catch by Benny. Benny from the forehand at the 10 line. Rots takes it in the air. Backhand to the inside. Robote forehand by Zuleika to the inside. Arats is there. Backhand by Arats. That clears the overhead screen. Robote kicking all the way out to the four line. Turned on the forehand of Zuleika. Benny on the catch, forehand from the 10 line. Rebote left side to the inside. Benny on the catch, backhand from the 12. Sherry's there, backhand. Rotate forehand. Off the Sesta of like that it goes. That's a shutout in the second set. Go Sherry and Arats take it. Move on to a third and final set, two minutes. Well, quite the response in set number two. Go Sherry and Arats, six straight points. They come back to force a third set. Yeah, Benny working awfully hard there in the backcourt. I mean, really just a bunch of long rallies in that second set outside of a, a few quicker points for missed shots up there by Zuleika. And Gosheri and Arat's already two losses this season, which I think is more than they've ever had playing together in battle court. But it is not an easy number one ranked doubles group this season. I mean, across the board, Douglas and Nicholas, Carbayo and Manu, Zuleika and Benny, all these teams are world-class teams, and well, you might be seeing in some other competitions here later in the summer. Now, some replays here. Yeah, that's a little bit of a miscommunication. And then at the last second, Zuleika trying to dig it out. Another outside placement attempt, not far enough to the outside and puts Benny in a tough spot defensively. Couldn't turn that Robote. And straight to the outside, again, in and out of the basket. And then this one as well. So Sherry just all power and I couldn't time it up. Six straight points goes Sherry and Arats. Looking to get back in the win column after a surprising defeat last time out and came in three sets. This one goes the distance as well. Third indecisive set, ready to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to begin the third and final set. Reminder, the scoring in battle court. First team to reach six points wins the set. First team to win two sets wins the match. Each one of these teams has one set under their belt. Zuleika will have the serve for the Chargers. Zuleika serves, we begin. 
What a catch by Roth, 12 line. Rotate forehand rifled by Gochere, caught by Benny. Here's the backhand to the feet of Aratz. Zuleika takes it on the bounce. Costado hard throw to the inside. Aratz is there. Robote left side, powerfully thrown, caught by Gochere. Cherry to the inside. Robote left side, caught in the air by Gochere. Gochere rifles this one low and hard, and Benny's there. Here's the backhand. Sherry makes a save. So like a attacks up there at the four line. Scooped up. Here's the backhand. Backhand by Benny. Robote coming out. Robote forehand by Sulaika. Robote left side. Sulaika cuts it off. Two, two all stopped by Gosheri. Perfect throw by Gosheri scores. Sherry and Arats on the board first in the third and final set. Sherry serves the Renegades. Again, just all defense for the Renegades. Weed into these points. Zuleika, another two all. Stopped, I mean, again, on the forehand of Sherry, and that's pretty far off the net. And that opens up sharply off the back wall. Benny couldn't turn it. That's how they've gotten the majority of their points here since the, the start of the second set. Fault under serve, second serve must be good. So like a Pixis serve, drop shot. Sherry gets there. Last hit outside to score. Two points. We'll go Sherry and Rocks. Sherry serve. We don't see Zuleika throw many drop shots. Just elevated that one a little bit too much. Go Sherry with plenty of time to react. And when he gets it up there in front of the two line, he's kind of got a duck and cover. The Philo coming in hard, well out of reach for a 2 0 lead to begin this third and decisive set. Beautiful catch, catch by Benny off a good serve by Gosheri. Robote to the inside, scooped up by Benny. Benny on the forehand, low and hard. Arats is there. There's a catch by Benny from the 10 line. Backhand by Arats. Zuleika now from the eight line, powerful backhand to the inside. Robote coming out. There's a backhand. Backhand by Zuleika. Robote coming out. Robote forehand. Benny. Robote caught on the forehand of Gosheri. Sherry for that three wall play. Perfectly landing in to score. Three points for Gosheri and Arats. Gosheri has the serve. And nicely done by Gosheri, switching it up. Every time he's caught it on the forehand from the outside, he's delivered something low and hard back towards the side wall. This time goes for a sharper angle. Look at this one. Front wall, side wall, kicking towards the outside in the air. Out of reach of Benny. Once it lands in, hits the cage and points over. Perfectly done there. 3-0 in favor of the running gauge, a nine-point run. Ball under serve. Battle court rules allow for two serves. Second serve must be good. Good serve lands between the four and the seven line. Hey, 
like a Pixis serve, backhand from the three line. Robote, so like aggressively from the six, backhand. Here's the backhand. Robote coming out. Like with the catch of the five line, backhand to the inside, a rocks from the 11. Gushetti, backhand to the inside. Robote forehand. Sherry's calling for it, lays it up. Benny, big reach, makes a fine save. Here's a rocks, backhand. Ball missed. That's a fourth point for Gosheri and Rocks. Gosheri will serve the Renegades. And Benny's been playing great in this match. I think that's really the first ball that he'd probably say that he should have had, even though that was right on the side wall, crossing deep in the backcourt. You can tell by his reaction. There is just no space to score for these Chargers here. Maybe a backhand two off for Benny to try to mix it up, but hasn't worked out yet. Big backhand. Robote coming out. Robote left side by Gushetti. Taken on the bounce by Benny. Benny from the 11 line. Plays it deep. Arats is there. Here's Benny from the forehand. Arats to the inside. Robote by Gosheri. There'll be no shutout. Zuleika and Benny are on the board with a point. Zuleika has a serve for the Chargers. And it's not coming out far enough to turn that Robote, dropping sharply off the back wall. It's the Chargers, something up on the scoreboard. See if they can make a little push here in this third set. Cherry picks the serve, blasts it to the inside. Benny chooses the rebote. It's a little low, and most definitely in the pad. Five points possible, match point for Gosheri and Arats. Yeah, definitely just hooked that one. I mean, that ball has just come shooting off the back wall, hard to time it up, and a little dangerous with Gosheri up there in the front, but dropping into the pad, and. As you know, the pad is bad. 5-1 here, Renegades. Gonna put points up on the scoreboard early on in this game day. Here's the backhand by Benny. Backhand again by Benny to the inside, Robote. That ball hit the overhead screen, which is out of play. Two points for Zuleika and Benny. Still, possible match point for Gosheri and Rots. Best chance for the Chargers here to get at least a point off of Zuleika's serve. You saw it early on, got him that opening set victory. See if he can turn it on late here in the third set. Powerful, powerful serve by Zuleika, handled well by Arats. Robote is on the wall, he's still on the wall. Zuleika makes a save. Backhand by Arats. Benny to the inside, Arats is there. Zuleika, forehand Robote, passes the front quarter. Robote left side by Buschetti. Zuleika's there, backhand. Zuleika takes that. That's a difficult catch. Robote on the forehand of Zuleika. Zuleika for that three wall play, but it goes right to the forehand of Arats. A great recovery. Benny on the Robote to the inside. Arats takes it on the bounce. Here's the backhand. Benny, backhand from the 11 line. Benny, beautiful catch behind the 11 line.
Backhand by Benny to the 12. Arats is there. Robote left side to the inside. Sherry takes it on the bounce. Here's the backhand. Backhand. Robote. Here's the catch. Bye. What a catch there. Benny on the catch. Forehand now from the 10 line. There's the backhand by Arats. Benny from the 12 line to the inside. That clears the overhead screen. Robote coming out. Point. Set in a hard fought match for Gosheri and Rocks, winning in the third and decisive set, 6 2. I took all three sets, but Gosheri and Rocks, a nice response. They improved to 5 and 2 this season with a win. They start off the Renegades with one and a half points on this game day. As soon as that highlight ball leaves the Cesta, you can't blink because every second is packed with action. Keep up with the world's fastest ball sport all game day long with bets on the matches, the sets, and each individual point. Find your favorite team or player and get in on the action with DraftKings, the official sports betting partner of the World Highlight League. The crown is yours. As soon as that and folks, let's take a look at that game day scoreboard. One and a half points for the Renegades, courtesy of their top team, Gosheri and Arats. The race for first place, hotly contested at this point in the season. Renegades looking to close the gap. They will be tied up with the Warriors on points remaining after today. We're going to hear from the winning team, Gosheri and Arats. Here they are. All right, Gosheri and Arats, congratulations on winning that match. You guys are now 5-2 and two after that win. How do you prepare to take on one of the most aggressive frontcourt players in the league in Zuleika? Well, we know that all the games are difficult. And Zuleika and Benny, too, they were 5-1, I think. We were 4-2, now 5-2. Uh, hard working, communication, and fight. Yeah, that's it. Uh, the, the, the match, I think that we don't start good, but then we... We do good, a good comeback, so happy for the win, and now we got to keep going to take okay, some so points. Again, congratulations on winning that match. See what will happen in today's game day. Thank you. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, today a particularly exciting day for Battle Court. The WJAL is officially introducing Battle Court Highlight Free Bets, a contest for our remote fans. So if you're watching us from home and want to up the ante, all you need to do is scan the QR code on the screen or go to betbattlecourt.com to play along. This game will go live every Friday game day this month of April. Winners will earn merchandise, gift cards, and cash prizes every week. Plus, the overall contest winner will get a free trip down to Miami to experience Championship 5 in person as a VIP guest. You must be 18 or older to play and win. Terms and conditions apply. Sounds pretty cool, Stu. Good time to be here in Miami. Come May 17th, that's when our championship will be played. Up next, fourth division doubles. I'm excited for this one. Two of the most aggressive and best front quarters in this group, Iturbide and Bradley take on Goanaga and Ben. Iturbide and Bradley undefeated coming into this one, but arguably their toughest matchup yet against Goanaga and Ben here later in the season. And Goanaga, third-ranked player for his team, Iturbide the two. That's the matchup to watch for in this one. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to begin match number two, a fourth division doubles match. Representing the Renegades, we have the team of Goanaga and Ben. And representing the Chargers, here's the team of Iturbide and Bradley. Thank you. 
There's a serve by Trevide. We begin with an over serve. Second serve coming up. A good serve lands between the four and seven line. Goanaga picks a serve, whips it inside. Bradley makes a tough pick up deep in the backcourt. Ben on the hop, takes it in, back beyond the 12 line. Forehand comes up the middle. Bradley leaping grab, back at the 12 line. Three wall play, Goanaga turns her bote. Itrabide up on the costado, high to the inside. Ben lines it up. Itrabide high and hard, backhand passes. That's right on the wall. Goanaga turns it. Just does clear the overhead screen. Here's Bradley from deep in the backcourt. Forehand drops between them. Goanaga has her bote again. Bradley high and hard, a little bit too high. That caught the rail just above the front wall. She is out of play. Bradley coming back in 2024 after experiencing fairly significant knee injuries and surgery in 2023. Catching's been spot on, throwing's been spot on, and this partnership with Dietrich B-Day has been working out well. Powerful serve, Bradley's got it on the forehand. Sidearm play, back inside, Ben thought about it. Let's that one come out, here's Goanaga. To the left side of Iturbide into the two wall, thrown to score. Ties it up, 1-1. One, one. Iturbide working on that two wall during his first two seasons, having some difficulty keeping it within that outer boundary line. He's adjusted the side wall, the front wall and the pad very well, and lending them beautifully here in 2024. Ben, middle of the court, backhand, power to the inside. Itrabide cuts it off. Goanaga does the same, back now at the nine line. Our throw in the corner, Robote forehand by Itrabide, turn to the left side of Goanaga. High Costado, big bounce, controlled by Bradley. Ben now reaching on the inside, powerful backhand, stopped by Bradley again. Forehand got away, that caught the overhead screen, which is out of play. 2-1 advantage for Goanaga and Ben. Obviously in any sport, including high line, you want to avoid unforced errors. Bradley trying to get that ball past his opponent, struck the overhead screen, out of play. Bradley on the forehand. Powerful play back inside. Ben lets it pass. Goanaga has it. Itrabide over the seventh line. Backhand snapped by Ben. Ben from deep in the backcourt. Powers it to the inside. Itrabide cuts off another. Puts it on the wall. Not a lot on that remote. Goanaga digs it out. Bradley waits beyond the 11 line. Puts the forehand inside. Goanaga lays it up. Itrabide moving up on it. Costado powered right at the feet of Ben. The scoop is missed. Itrabide and Bradley tie it up, 2-2. Bradley can keep that ball in play and away from the overhead screen. Catching's been spot on. He throws as hard as anyone else on the roster. Itrabide's two alls. Overall, the Chargers could do well here, but as you mentioned earlier, this is the toughest competition they've faced all season. Fault over serve, second serve coming up. Second serve is good. Here's Ben from the outside, lines it up. Powerful backhand, high and hard. Bradley out of the way. Eats her B day. Left side or bote. Goanaga cuts it off. There's the backhand of the inside. Stopped by Bradley. Rebote's coming out. Goanaga puts it up the middle. Bradley lets it pass. Bradley on the bounce. Goanaga, powerful throw to the inside. Catches three walls. Itrabide lines it up. This one clipped. Goanaga whips it low and hard back to the inside. Itrabide comes back for it. Goanaga again aggressively on the Costado. This time to the forehand where it scores. 
Renegades break the tie. They lead it 3-2. Gonaga continuing the aggressive style of play that we saw beginning back in February. It's gotten more and more powerful. Consistent catching. Highly accurate on these throws. Here's Bradley on the forehand, hard throw back to the inside. Good body control by Ben, comes back over the top. Here's Iturbide on the Costado. It's a two wall, but that's too wide. Four points for Goanaga and Ben. That's an example of some of the difficulty that we saw Iturbide having. Ball's coming off the side wall and opening up too much. I thought coming into this one, he may be most affected by that long layoff for the Chargers because he was playing his best highlight in that stretch of play in early to, to middle March, killing a number of points from the Costado. But again, early on, just not quite as sharp. Bradley on the forehand, keeps it inside. Going is there to cut it off. Here's Itrabide back between the 9 and 10 line, drops it inside. Ben handles another. Itrabide again, nine line, backhand power to the inside. Ben will clip off the side while Itrabide backed up to the nine. High coast out of the inside, kicking up. Good catch by Ben above his head. He blasts the return. Robote, that's on the wall. Itrabide pushed it outside. That lands in. Goanaga turns to Robote. Bradley from the inside, high and hard. Ben out of the way again. Goanaga, right side, Robote. Itrabide's there to cut it off. Backhand on the wall. Here's Ben. Itrabide there at the 10 line, backhand dropping low, Ben handles another one. Goanaga advancing, hard to the inside, Bradley all alone, had it for a moment, just couldn't control it. That's five points, Goanaga and Ben have a possible set point. That going down low and trying to catch the ball on the balance has worked well for Bradley throughout the season but primarily when the ball's coming straight back to him, not out of the costado of Goanaga. It's a different type of speed and a different type of spin that he's used to. It hasn't been working for him. Hard serve, comes out to the right side. Bradley controls it. Goanaga with time, gets back in there for the Robote. Itrabide now into the two wall. This one stopped by Goanaga. Goanaga hard to the outside where it scores. Point and set. Goanaga and Ben take it 6-2. Two minutes up on the board. We'll come back and play our second set. Tremendous play by all four players, but Goanaga really, really showing himself to be a dominant force in the front court here at Magic City. You're watching Battle Court live from the Magic City High Life Fronton in Miami, Florida. Currently in our second of six scheduled games on the evening. Here we are in the SPN3 players cage. Players take their breaks here in between sets, which is what we're doing right now. Also get prepared bear for matches. There you see Bragley on the left side of your screen untying his Sesta. Itrabide is already out of his Sesta. Gonaga just had a fantastic, fantastic set. Taking in some water. Consulting with Gosheri. Well, you mentioned Goanaga, Ben as well. The last time these two teams matched up, that was back on the 18th, the last time the Chargers played. It really came down to the backcourt play between Ben and Bradley, and Bradley definitely the winner of that matchup. And today, through set number one, it's all Ben. See here, a miss on the right side of Bradley. And as you mentioned, Stu, a couple from the Costado with Goanaga that he just wasn't able to time up. Look at that, back to the inside, that kicks across the side wall. And then by, yeah, he couldn't react in time, and then that ball's in the net before Itrabide can turn the Robota. Six-two. The Renegades come back and take that first set. Iturbine and Bradley, 7-0 and coming into this one. Yeah, they already played Goanaga and Ben, but you look at the front quarters in this fourth division. 
And a couple times they played the Cyclones, they had Fores up there. I mean, both times they played, they had Fores up there. A little bit of a mismatch against Iturbide. Against the Devils, you had Robin up there, and Iturbide just having his way with the Costado. But against Goanaga, rangier, more athletic, better defensive player. That's certainly the difference here today. Second set, ready to go. The Chargers have the serve. There to serve by Iturbide. We begin set two with an ace. Iturbide and Bradley on the board with a point. Ben on the outside, there's a backhand low runner just above the pad, cut off in the air by Iturbide. He blasts the backhand, Robote close to the side wall, Goanaga makes the save. Iturbide back to Ben, good catch in the corner. Goanaga from the nine line, low runner inside, cut off again by Iturbide. Ben now back beyond the 12 line, hard throw to the inside, Bradley pulls it in. Powerful backhand, this one coming out. Robote forehand lined up by Iturbide. Just does clear the overhead screen, comes to Ben. Sidearm play cut off on the left side of Iturbide. He blasts the backhand, Ben controls another one. This one coming out, Koenaga turns it over the top. Bradley from the backcourt. Keeps this one to the inside, will kick off the sidewall. Koenaga makes a play, high coasty, and it's tipped. Goanaga and Ben tied up 1-1. Once one, one. again, Goanaga going for sheer power on these Costado throws. They've been working very effectively for him. Right at Bragley. Bragley's been playing great, but these throws are just a bit too much for him so far here in the first and second set. Or into the inside. Great catch by Ben. And that kicked up over his head. Big bounce. Bradley. Waits forward at the 12 line, powerful throw. Here Ben lining up another one. Bradley there at the 11 line, higher and harder. This one's coming out, Goanaga on the rebote, keeps it up the middle. Good catch by Iturbide, he cuts it off. Backhand, dropping low, Ben reaches in. Rebote forehand, powered off the sidewall. Goanaga lets it pass, turns it high, big, big bounce, Bradley. Iturbide turns it into a two wall. That stopped on the outside and dropped. It's not a particularly well thrown two wall by Iturbide. They have to believe that Goanaga, who's been spot on with those catches, was thinking about what he was going to do with it before he made the catch. Point for the Chargers. Ben handles that serve on the left side, backhand. Picked off by Bradley. Bradley comes out of the corner, high and hard. Not a lot on that one. Goanaga plays it back inside. Iturbide caught it in the air. Whips it outside. Good range by Goanaga. He cut it off. Backhand by Iturbide. Hard throw. Passes both Renegades. Goanaga. Robote two wall. That's too wide. Three points for the Chargers. Iturbide and Bradley lead. Goanaga now apparently feeling the pressure to kill the shot. Went for a two-all, put a little too much behind it, sent it out of play. Ben blasts the backhand again. Bradley now from the left side. Hard throw, that just does clear the overhead screen. Ben's out of the way. Goanaga, powerful Robote wall to wall. Iturbide just drops it inside, puts it on the wall. Ben handles, backhand. Stopped overhead by Iturbide. Robote forehand, Goanaga hooked it. That comes up the middle of the court. Iturbide low and hard. Ben comes back for it, stops it on the bounce. Wall to wall, Robote forehand. Iturbide keeps it inside, Goanaga digs it out. 
Aggressive play by Ichibide Costado at the feet of Ben. Backing up, could not scoop it up. That's four points for the Chargers. See a rather lopsided score up there on the board, which is kind of how the game's gone. Ichibide's warmed up. Ben unable to make that catch. Ben drops it inside. Eterbide up at the eight will kick off the side wall. Ben handles on the forehand. Eterbide calls him off, lines up the rebote, powers it inside. That's on the wall. Ben controls it. There's the backhand. Fire just above the pad, gets to Bradley in the backcourt. Then again at the 13 line, keeps it inside. Eterbide steps back to cut this one off. Puts it on the wall, drops between them. Onaga has the rebote. Itrabine again keeps the pressure on. Another backhand. This one stopped in the air. Dropping in the corner. Itrabine just lays it up. All he can do with it. Onaga on the Costado. Hard to the inside. Bradley scooped it up. Ben sidearm play. Coming up the middle. Good control again by Bradley. Bradley winds it up. Powerful throw. Onaga takes it off the side wall. Bradley at the 11 line, big backhand again. Hard of the inside, there's Goanaga, Ben. Bradley ducks rather, Itrabide saves it. And it scores. Ball missed by Ben in the backcourt. That brings the Chargers to a 5-1 lead. Possible set point. Score now reflected with basically what, exactly what's going on on the court. Ben and Bradley in the backcourt, two aggressive front quarters, a bit more experience. Taking Ichibide a little while to warm up. Golanaga just off his footing on that last catch. In and out of the Sesta it goes. A third set coming up here in just two minutes. Ichibide and Bradley win it 6-1. Golanaga unable to keep that pace that he established early there in that first set. Going into the second set, Bradley, basically his strategy was working Bradley over and over and over again, expecting Bradley to miss as many as he did in the first one and the second one, Bradley letting a few more come out there. Ichirbide was a bit better on, then just a few mistakes on the part of the Renegades. Goanaga and Ben gave that set to the Chargers. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Battle Court live from Magic City Highlight Fronton in Miami, Florida. Renegades taking on the Chargers. Yeah, a couple more misses coming to the right side of Bradley early on. And just pulling a couple more to the left side, but again, a little less aggressive, letting that ball come out and having Ichibide control the play up there in the front. You see that miss by Goanaga. Yeah, he was just probably thinking about the next throw before he secured the catch. It's when you expect him to make a play. And a lot of these coming back to Ben, testing his forehand where we saw a couple more misses as well. And yeah, look at this serve. Vicious kick across the sidewall. Ben tries to line it up on the forehand, and it, that ball's got a lot of spin. Coming back across the player's body into the backcourt off the serve. Hard to control. 6-1. Eterbini and Bradley, quite the response there after a slow start. There's seven wins and zero losses. I mean, by far the best winning percentage in battle court. The only other team that's undefeated, I think, Williams and Julian, yeah, also actually 7-0, and so tied with the Division 6 team, Williams and Julian, for the Warriors. Looking to make it 8-0 right here. Etrebini and Brownlee need this third set. Ready to begin. Going and Ben have the serve. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to begin our third and decisive set. Going on Ben, serve to Eterbide and Bradley.
There's the serve. Our final set is underway. Ball missed by Benny in the backcourt to get it started. Etrebini and Bradley on the board first. We will take an injury timeout. Five minutes will be put up on the board for an injury timeout. Officially called injury timeout here, but uh, lost to contact. So that will be necessary to play, especially at this speed. So. Five, five minutes up on the board. Again, injury timeout here. Will not be in jeopardy of uh, having to forfeit this match or have to bring in a substitute, just dealing with a contact issue. Not wearing contacts myself. I've only heard how difficult they can be. In this case, apparently rolling up off the front of the eyeball, up towards the top. So... Got five minutes to try to adjust it, and I'm sure he'll be able to. But the injury timeout, we have injury timeouts, and we have equipment timeouts. Equipment timeouts deal with baskets, cintas, shoes, or rather sneakers, helmets occasionally, chin straps. Those are the things that we normally see. Injury timeouts can be anything. We've seen players actually go down on the ground very hard, We're concerned about their ability to come up. We've seen some players go out. In this case, it is a contact. Here's some replays from the second set. You see, that's the final point right there. Entry back is set number one. Yeah, look at this miss on the two wall. Going on, got thinking about the catch. Itrabide. Back out there on the court. Again, we are ready to continue. Ready to continue here. Chargers, Eaterby and Bradley serve up 1 0. Well, over serve, second serve coming up. Worst case scenario, he blames it on the contact. Second serve is good. Ben from the outside. Back in, comes up the middle. Itrabide stops it overhead. He blasts this one into the corner. Here's a Robote left side. Turned high off the front wall. Itrabide into the Costado. Right at the feet. Ben steps out of the way. Goanaga does not turn the Robote. Caught the top part of the pad. And any part of the pad is bad. Two points for the Chargers. Mind of the scoring here in battle court, ladies and gentlemen. The first team to reach six points wins the set. First team to win two sets wins the match. We have a split set situation so far. Renegades won the first set 6-2. Chargers winning the second set 6-1. Currently in our third and decisive set. Then comes back to the inside, gets under that serve. Itrabide backed up to the 10, cuts it off. Backhand play to the inside. Here's Ben now. From the 12 line, hard throw, picked off by Itrabide again. Robote coming out, Konaga plays it inside, Itrabide on the Costado, it's a two wall. That lands in and scores. A challenge. Has been challenged. challenge has been requested by the Renegades. The ruling on the floor was the ball landed in. A play is under further review. All right, Stu. So, original call was in by the judge, so pretty simple here. If the ball touched the line, ball is out, and point will go to the Renegades. I don't, I don't think that ball was out, but we will take a look. Both Front judges judge responded pretty, quick, yeah, they, pretty they, quickly to it. Now, they, again, we're talking about watching something crossing the line. Yeah, I don't think it. Yeah, yeah that's very, yeah, that's yeah, it's very in. much in. That's completely in. That's what I thought I saw. But you see, that, the interesting thing about this is when you see something that is 
so completely in what but the player really thinks that the player really thinks that he saw it out especially i mean the way that each day throws it it really opens Fisher up the ruling is that it is in the call was good Call was confirmed 3-0 in favor of Iturbide and Bradley. And the Renegades lose their challenge for the remainder of the day. Ben from the outside, backhand, comes in hot, hot and hard. Robote comes to the outside and splits him up. Lands in and scores 4-0 lead for Iturbide and Bradley. Like I was saying before we came back though, I mean, that's how fast the ball is moving. The judges' only job is to keep their eye on that ball the best they can. Players who are on the court sincerely believe that they saw that ball go out, but it was it was more, it was than, well an inch. In. It was more yeah. than an inch or two in. Great stop overhead by Bradley. Puts the forehand inside between both Renegades. There's a save by Goanaga just above the pad. Iturbide, backhand, stopped overhead. Here's Ben now from the 12 line, caught the corner. Iturbide backs up to cut it off. Hard throw to the inside. This one comes shooting out. Goanaga makes the play. Big bounce. Bradley, great control in the corner. Forehand drop between them. Goanaga looking for it on the back end, makes a save. Bradley now, forehand. Play to the inside. Another remote coming out. Goanaga has it. Right on the wall. Bradley controls it. The half carom, not opening up enough. Goanaga powers it to the inside. Bradley out of the way. Iturbide, left side, Robote. Goanaga has it low, but could not control the catch. 5-0 in favor of the Chargers. They have a possible set and a possible match point. Again, Goanaga under a lot of pressure to finish it. Don't know if he was thinking about going to the outside or perhaps a drop shot, but one way or the other. Did not work. Here's Ben, forehand played back to the inside, cut off by Iturbide before it crossed the side wall. Here's Ben now, back beyond the 11, powers it inside, Iturbide handles another one. Robote forehand, just does clear the overhead screen, that is out a long way, Iturbide tracks it down, puts it inside, Goanaga comes back for it now. Bradley, good defense, back behind Iturbide, forehand comes out. Goanaga lines it up, back to the inside. Here's Bradley now, Bradley. Hard forehand play, Ben runs under it. What a catch by Bradley, comes out middle of the court where it scores. Point, set, and match. Ejibide and Bradley take it in three sets, winning the final two, 6-1, 6-0. Common theme on the game day. Not very close in terms of the score line of these sets, but three set matches. First one going to the Renegades. The Chargers come back with a nice response. Etrebiti and Bradley tie things up to one and a half points per team. Coming up next, we'll be moving over into the fifth division of doubles. El Barba and Benny take on Joseph and Arats. Bradley on the move, breaking. He got there. Last the forehand. Everybody out of the way, and Nicholas got hit. Go Sherry up in the front court towards the inside. What a scoop! What an amazing by Douglas. Go Sherry picks it up in the front court, whips it inside. What another man. Let's take a look at the game day scoreboard. And we see tied up one and a half points per team. Keeping with doubles up next, fifth division, Joseph and Arats take on El Barba and Benny. And standard game day here will be two singles matches and four doubles matches. We're gonna hear from our winners, Eter, Bide and Bradley improving to eight and oh with that win just two matches remain for a perfect season
Here they are, the Chargers, fourth division team. Right. It's a really Bradley, congratulations on winning that match. You guys are still undefeated, 8-0. Only two matches remain for a perfect double season. How do you guys ensure that you stay focused to pull this great accomplishment off? Um, it's just minimizing the errors. You can see in the first set, I was uh, had a couple couple errors, and if I can just minimize those, this guy up in the front makes it happen. I back him up. That's it. Okay. Y Trujillo, ¿cómo mantienen una temporada perfecta? Solamente le faltan dos partidos y ganan todos los partidos de esta temporada. ¿Cómo mantienen el foco? Bueno, eh, aspiramos a intentar ganar lo máximo posible. We just are always aspiring to win as para, much as possible. Para que sea para el equipo bueno eso. It's good for the team. Y nada, eh, hacemos muy, muy buena pareja y a seguir así. And we make a really good double team and we just got to keep going that way. Well guys, again, congratulations on winning the match. Yeah. Let's see what else happens today. Coming up next, fifth division doubles heater, Joseph and Arats of the Renegades take on El Barba and Benny. Joseph and Arats compiled a nice record so far this season, five and two. El Barba and Benny this season has been up and down for them, three and four coming into this one. They had a lengthy winning streak, El Barba and Benny did to begin the season at three games, now riding a three game losing streak. Looking to end that right here. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to begin match number three, a fifth division doubles match. Representing the Chargers, we have the team of El Barba and Benny. And representing the Renegades, we have the team of Joseph and Arats. Ladies and gentlemen, our third match of the evening is now ready to begin. El Barba will have the serve for the Chargers. El Barba begins. Backhand by Roth. Benny fine catch, nice return from the 11 line. Big backhand by Roth. This is Robote. That rebound off the back wall to the forehand of El Barba. Roth is there. Karam stopped by El Barba. He does not hold on to it. First point of this match goes to the Renegades. Joseph and Roth. Joseph has the serve. And so far this season, El Barba has established that he can make that play to either his left or right side. So at least at the beginning of the match, get to let him play up there in the front and change it up if you need to later on. Here's Benny on the catch. Backhand from the nine line. He gets it up over Arata's head. Joseph on the rebote. El Barba reaching out. Placement inside, a little too hard. Rots gets it, split placement, stopped by Benny. Karen by Benny, stopped by Joseph. Benny comes up with the catch, kind of an awkward throw, but it's in play. Backhand by Rots. Robote by Benny to the inside. Backhand by Rots. Benny coming out for the Robote at the sixth line. Turns it to the outside, Rots is there. Benny, forehand Robote to the inside. Very much the inside. Oh, Great grab. snag by Rots. Here's Benny. Cristalo to all is out. Two points for Joseph and Rots. Joseph serves. And with the Rots that close to the side wall, I'd rather see Benny just keep that two all in and force Joseph to make that catch to his left side. In the sixth division, you're going to see a couple more misses to the left side compared to the right, and Joseph has already established that he's going to make that play tonight. El Barba picks that serve. He goes for the outside placement. It is wide. Three points for Joseph and Rots. Joseph has the serve for the Renegades. And El Barba just going to have to make the adjustment if the shots aren't working out for him. He's just going to have to play the ball to the inside. He can throw the carambola. He can throw some three walls. Just something a little bit less risky than something that's either in or, or out. Here's the backhand by Benny. Backhand by Rots. Benny from the nine line. Big backhand clears the overhead screen. Joseph looking for the rebote. El Barba has this ball to the outside. Perfect placement That's by El Barba one. will score. Soft Cortado working for El Barba. That's a point for the Chargers El Barba serves. That's the type of shot we're talking about for El Barba. 
back to the inside, soft touch just above the pad, forcing Arats to step up, and he couldn't get there before the second bounce. And that one even a little bit lower than I'd like to see because it kind of forwarded with the, with the pad there, but fortunately scoring. Cortada served by El Barba, caught by Arats. El Barba, Robote save at the side wall. Arats takes it up on the bounce. Backhand. Benny takes it on the bounce at the 12 line. Robote forehand. El Barba's there. Drop shot, a little too high. Arats has it at the three line. Drop shot, that's low, that's and it scores. Four points for Joseph and Rotz. Joseph served. And really good drop shot right there. Both ch chargers going for it. Now they're coming away with the ball. Here's the backhand by Benny. Robote coming out. Robote by Joseph. Low placement. What a catch by Benny. Karen by Benny will score. Well thrown. Two points for Benny and El Barba. With the Chargers. El Barba serves. Renegade's just got to communicate. The Rots was charging forward on the outside, and Joseph didn't know he was coming. Stabbed on the left side and just didn't make the play. That's what I'm talking about with Benny, though. If he's going to throw the two wall, better to play it to the six-ranked player's left side than his right. See the miss right there. Here's the backhand by Arats. Benny from deep in the backcourt. Robote coming out. Robote forehand to the inside. Catch by Benny. He winds up. Split placement attempt, caught by Arats in the air. Arats back to the inside. Benny reaches out, he's got the ball. Here's Arats from the 11 line. Big backhand, Robote coming out. That Robote, that rebound off the back wall. Taken on the bounce by Arats. Benny grabs it in the air at the eight line. Goes deep. Robote forehand, light touch. Benny reaches up. Joseph is there. Robote left side, two all. Joseph is there again. Hard throw goes off the tip of Benny Sesta and scores. Five points and a possible set point for the Renegades. Joseph serve. Yeah, a bit of a slow start for Joseph to begin this spring 24 season, but playing some of his best so far tonight. Great defense on the outside, then the offense to match, powering it and just beating Benny. Here's the backhand by Benny. Beautiful catch, nice return by Arats. Backhand by Benny. What a catch wow. by Arats in the corner. Easy, easy. That ball is dropped by Benny. Point and set to Joseph and Arats, they take the first set, 6-2. Two. two minutes go on the board, we'll come back out and play our next set. Six-two, Joseph and Arats, keeping with the theme of uh, pretty decisive set score lines here, 6-2. A lot of unforced errors for the Chargers though, so at least that's something that be a little bit more positive about moving into this second set. If they can just keep the ball in play, it may work out a little bit better. But you see Joseph, the defense on the stop, and then perfect placement, crossing the side wall, just tipped there by Benning. Then a Rots, look at this, one-handed grab, lunging for it, just does get out to it. Joseph and Arats in five and two coming in to this doubles match today. Second and final doubles match against 
this fifth division team of the Chargers, though. But since the last time these two teams have played, and Joseph and Arats have been playing some of their best tie lie, they got a win. That was over Correa and Manny. Coming into this one, Joseph and Arantz, winners of three in a row. El Barba and Benny on the opposite end of that. Lost three straight up and down season. El Barba and Benny, their first match of the season, they lost. They won three in a row after that. And since that point, the beginning of March, they have dropped three straight. Looking to get back in the win column. They're going to need these next two sets. See if they can get it started here with the serve. Ladies and gentlemen, reminder of the scoring here in Battle Court. First team to reach six points wins the set. The first team to win two sets wins the match. We are ready to begin our second set. Renegades and Orange won the first set. El Barba has a serve for the Chargers. El Barba serves. Our second set is underway with an overserve. Second serve must be good. A good serve lands between the four and seven line. Here's a backhand by Arats. Robote. Arats on the backhand. Robote left side, split placement. Stop by Benny at the nine line. Karam, stop by Arats. Arats goes hard to the inside. Benny for the Robote, makes the save. Arats goes into the front court. Sends it deep, looking for the three wall play. Benny, perfect read on the Robote, drop shot to the outside, and Arats is there. Splitter thrown perfectly to score by Arats. Joseph and Arats first up on the board in our second set. Joseph has a serve. A good read by Benny first time around, but that was just perfectly done. Split placement off the Carambola, coming back to the outside. Not much of an effort there by El Barber, just kind of stabbing for it, and Benny not even making a play for it. Very well done to get the Renegades on the board first to start off set two. Backhand by Benny, thrown powerfully wall to wall. Robote is coming out to the three line. Turned by Joseph to the inside. What a catch by Arats at the 13 line. Robote forehand, low and inside. Stopped by Arats. Split placement by Arats. Scooped up beautifully by El Barba. El Barba turns this one nicely deep. That's a fine save by Arats. Benny with the catch. Two all. Stopped by El Barba, dropped by El Barba. Point for Joseph and Arats of the Renegades. Joseph serves. Another one that you would just expect El Barba to, to make that play. Uh, he started off this season so strong, making pretty much every defensive catch on the outside, adding a little bit of offense, established himself as one of the best sixes, but tonight not one of his better nights. A lot of unforced errors on kill shot attempts and just on catching alone. Here's backhand by Benny. Backhand by Rots. Oh, that escape. Ball's out of play. Three points for Joseph and Rots. Joseph serves. And Benny going for a big swing, trying to pass a Rots on that Robote, but sent well to the outside. Backhand by Benny. Beautiful catch by Arats at the 13 line. Robote coming out. Karam stopped by Joseph. Karam Bola stopped by Benny, dropped by Benny. Point for Joseph and Arats. Four points for the Renegades. Joseph serves. And when Joseph is on and making that catch, he's not one you want to test to his right side. I mean, that carambola has got a lot of power, a lot of spin, and just so difficult to control. 
Here's a backhand by Benny. Robote coming out. Joseph eyes on the Robote. He rifles this one back. Benny comes out with a clutch catch at the 10 line. Here's a Rots. Forehand. At Robote, forehand is missed. No shutout here. El Barba and Benny, the Chargers, are on the board with a point. Joseph serves. And finally getting something up on the board. El Barba serves, rather. See if the Chargers can get just anything started. That was an overserve. Here's the Rots on the catch. Backhand to the inside. Robote coming out. Robote forehand by El Barba thrown to the inside. Arats takes it on the bounce. Benny on the catch. Backhand from the 13 line. That cleared the overhead screen. Rots keeps the Robote from himself. A light touch. El Barba's on it. El Barba going for that placement and he got it to score. Excellent throw by El Barba landing in and scoring. El Barba and Benny, the Chargers, with two points. Joseph and Arats with four. El Barba serves. First to six. We'll win the set. Yeah, smart shot. You see Arats pretty close to the front wall. El Barba gets it over his head and opens up off the back wall. Very nicely done. They're their second straight point. See if they can get back into this set. Here's a backhand by Arats. Robote coming out. Robote left side, the inside. Here's the backhand. El Barba, forehand Robote. Scoop missed by Arats. Three points for El Barba and Benny. El Barba has a serve for the Chargers. A well, nice three point run. See if the Chargers can add another one right here. Excellent serve by El Barba, handled well in the backcourt by Arats. Here's Benny, backhand, caught by Arats, backhand from the 11 line. Beautiful catch by Benny, deep in the backcourt. Arats goes deep, that clears the overhead screen. El Barba at the four line, turns the rebote. Gustavo to all, stopped by Benny. Karen by Benny is perfectly thrown to score. Four four is the score. El Barba has the serve. Well, Rot saw El Barba out of position, threw the two all right at him. Good backup by Benny makes the stop, and his carom return was spot on, perfect, just out of reach of Joseph. Four straight points. It looked like it was going to be an easy straight set victory. The Chargers have made this a set. They're going to force another third set on this game day. Paul under serve. Battle court rules allow for two serves. Second serve must be good. A good serve lands between the four and seven line.
Splitter. Hit Joseph. Hit Joseph. That is a loss of point. That is a loss of point four. Five points for Obarba and Benny, possible set point. Here's a backhand by Arras. Robote coming out. Beautiful catch by Arras. Big backhand follows. Robote. Split placement, red and stop by Arats. Arats from the forehand. Benny's gonna look for a tricky Robote. Sends it inside. Equally difficult Robote this time for Arats. Benny with the catch at the seven line. Arats digs it out. What a that save. Clear the overhead screen. Clean miss in the front court by El Barba. Benny from the sixth line. Catch by Arats. That one hard by Arats. Caught on the forehand of Benny. Benny goes hard to the inside. Robote saved by Arats. Caught by Benny on the outside. Portada stopped by Arats. Arats to the inside. Hard. Oh, yeah. It scores. 5-5. Five, five. Ladies and gentlemen, this is set point for the Chargers and match point for the Renegades. And a crucial point going to the Renegades, all the momentum on the Chargers' side. I mean, Arats, I mean, he worked hard right here. Benny gets up there, throws a pretty good drop shot. Arats scrapes it off the ground, and look at this placement right on the side wall. He needed every bit of it. Get it by Benny. Backhand by Benny, Robote coming way out. Arats going to keep it for himself up at the four line. There's the two oh, that scores. scores. Point, set, and match to Joseph and Arats taking it in straight sets, 6-2, six, 6-5. Six, straight set victory for the Renegades. They retake the lead on the game day. They now have three points. The Chargers just one and a half. I believe we're flipping over to singles here, Stu. Up next, fifth division matchup between Ben and Bradley. They'll be coming your way in just about three minutes. As soon as that high lie ball leaves the Sesta, you can't blink because every second is packed with action. Keep up with the world's fastest ball sport all game day long with bets on the matches, the sets, and each individual point. Find your favorite team or player and get in on the action with DraftKings, the official sports betting partner of the World Highlight League. The crown is yours. Welcome back to Battle Court. There is the game day scoreboard brought to you by DraftKings. Point and a half for the Chargers in purple. Three points for the Renegades. Total scores of all teams there right underneath. Singles coming up next. Before we go, let's talk to the winners of our last match from the Renegades, Joseph and Arats. All right, Joseph Arats, congratulations on winning that match. You guys are four wins in a row. How has this team improved so well since the start? Thank you, yeah, just a lot of practicing, a lot of communication. Um, Arats always giving me confidence, and uh, we always talking and communicating, and that's what's getting it uh, done out there. Yeah, I think that we play good, used to. We see that this uh, better and better when the match are going on, and he's uh, learning a lot, so happy for the team. We are playing good, and now we have to keep going. Okay, so again, congratulations on winning that match. See what else happens in today's game day. Thank you. And up next, fifth division singles between Bradley and Ben. Two of the original members of Magic City program here with the World High Lie League and Battle Court, Bradley and Ben. 
played some great matches here in this fifth division over the course of their careers so far this season. Brandley just one win and two losses through his first three matches. Ben, always one of the better players in this group, plus 500. His record, three and one. This will be his fifth and final singles match. Well, going to end on a high note with a win. Only blemish on Ben's record this season came at the hands of Correa. That was his last time out back on the 26th of March. We're going to get back in the win column right here and add a crucial point for his team. One more point for the Renegades would secure at least a tie on the game day over one of the top contenders in the Chargers. Ready to go with match number four. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to begin our fourth match of the evening, fifth division singles. Representing the Chargers, we have Bradley. And representing the Renegades, we have Ben. There's a serve. We begin this singles match. Backhand to the inside, stopped by Bradley. Bradley powers one into the corner. Ben looking for the rebote. He makes a save. Big bounce, dropping low. Bradley not going to let it bounce. Makes the catch in the air. Here's Bradley. Gets up there at the seven line. Whips the Costado. Ben with a good read. Caught it in the air. Ben soft touch right on the wall. What a scoop by Bradley. Forehand back to the inside. Here's Bradley now. Big backhand, wall to wall. Robote forehand dropped into the top part of the pad. Any part of the pad is bad. That gets Bradley on the board first with a point. Most of Ben's power and skills there on the left side. Right side, Robote definitely not his forte. The Robote, that ball that comes off the back wall, comes with a certain momentum. Got to continue that momentum, maybe even increase it. Ben will do that on the left side. Not always on the right side. That was the case there. It hit the pad. <laughs> Under serve. Second serve coming up. That is an underserve, a double fault. That's going to get Ben on the board with his first point. Bradley more than capable of landing these serves in. Again, you don't want to give it to your opponent, but you're better off forcing him in, with, especially with all of Bradley's power, just force him into the corner. Bradley here at the 11 line, sidearm play back to the inside. Here's a rebote. Ben makes a save right on the wall. Good control by Bradley. Bradley low and hard. Ben backing up. The scoop is missed. Bradley leads 2-1. Uh, ben has a rather low tolerance for, for frustration. Again, Bradley's big, and he kind of he throws the ball and stays put. So if Ben wants interference, he just has to stand still and ask for it. I don't know that he would have gotten it, but... Over serve. Second serve coming up. Well play serve, good catch there by Ben as that crossed the side wall into the Chua. That's going to drop and score. 2-2, we're tied up. Power 
careful backhand by Ben, hitting low on the back wall, not coming out. Very well done. Bradley over the nine line, powerful forehand in the inside. Here's the Robote. Oh, that escaped. Went the wrong direction, didn't it? Or was that me? I think it did. I mean, the ball's supposed to go forward, right? Like towards the front wall? I, I came towards us. Or you. Yeah, you got to throw it forward, yeah. always. Okay. Just wanted to make sure that I wasn't seeing things. Oh, no, you, oh, you saw it. I just went backwards. Yeah, it went backwards. backwards. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, you're, you're, sure you're right, Stu. Yeah. What a catch. What a catch there by Ben. Here's a backhand. Robote forehand. Powered by Bradley back in the corner. Ben makes a nice save. One drop to Bradley's feet. Back it up. Makes the play at the 10 line. Comes hard over the top. Here's Ben reaching in. One-handed grab by Bradley. Nice play on the hop. Ben into the two-wall. Thrown to score. Well done. That ties it up. 3-3. Ben has absolutely been working on that now for years. Costado from the left side. Costado by definition on the left side. That two-wall has been working for Ben this season. Good for him. That ball died coming out of the service box. Bradley got up there, makes a great catch. Then another one, that one sticks inside. There's a scoop by Bradley, deep in the backcourt. Robote left side. On the bounce, Bradley controls it, middle of the court. High and hard, back into the corner. Ben lines it up, drops it above the pad. Bradley advancing, good body control. Shoots an outside placement. Out of reach of Ben, but he lines up the Robote on the back end. Bradley stands inside, forehand comes over the top. Here's Ben now, Ben the carom right over Bradley. All right. And it's scored. All right. I got all the respect for that. So Bradley should have ducked lower than he did. But Ben, situationally aware not to hit Bradley, put it safely away from him to make a fine carom. Bradley with his back on the wall, There's this is singles. You got your back on the wall like that, that's what you do. You throw the carom, you throw it safely. It's very well done by Ben. Bradley from the left side, backhand, stopped overhead by Ben. Ben now at the 10, drops it above the pad. There's a scoop by Bradley. Bradley straight to the outside. Ben got there, just wow. couldn't make the catch. 4-4 four, four is the score. Bradley serves. That was really well thrown by Bradley to the outside. Again, he's got such a reach. Look, he's about two feet from that side wall. Boom, he goes outside from so close to the outside, so well done. Ben had a beat on that. That was in his cest. It just went off the frame. Robote forehand, played back to the inside. Ben looking for it, makes a nice save. This one dropped at Bradley's feet. Nice scoop back on the forehand. Three wall play, Ben lines it up, makes a save. It's a high two wall, cut off by Bradley. Bradley into the carom, but that one is low. That one of that carom. That's in the pad, the pad is bad. Ben jumps out ahead, 5-4. He's got a possible set point. And we will put five minutes up on the board for an equipment timeout. This is an equipment timeout, five minutes on the board. Once again, Ben broke his Sinta on that last play. Sinta holds the hand in the basket. This counts as an equipment timeout. Has up to five minutes to resolve the situation. Will not take that long. You see there, he's already got a new one, and he's ready to, to get back in.
We are ready to continue here. Ben's, ben serves, leading 5-4. This is a possible set point. That is an underserve. Second serve coming up. Second serve is good. Bradley controls it on the forehand. Powerful play, high and hard, back in the corner. Then lines up Thurbote, puts it up the middle. Here's Bradley now, backhand. Launch this one, high and hard. Ben on the rebote, makes a good save. Bradley over the nine line, backhand opens up, takes Ben to the outside. Ben, low and hard, right at the feet, and it scores. Point and set. Ben takes it, 6-4. Two minutes up on the board, we'll come back and play set number two. Ben off to a little bit of a slow start there in that first set, but gradually came around. Good job by Ben. Bradley playing decidedly well. You're watching Battle Court live from the Magic City High Life Fronton in Miami, Florida. Here we are in the ESPN3 players cage. Players taking their breaks back here in between sets and to prepare for matches. There we have Chargers. Bragley, who's currently playing this match, and Zuleika. Here's some replays from that first set. Nice catch here by Bradley, and right into the outside placement. And Ben, there's the camera you're talking about. I mean, Bradley standing there. Got to go for the shot if it's there, and Ben executed it very well. This one straight to the outside. You see the foot speed. Ben gets out there, but hard to time it up. Just tipped. Hard throw back inside, crossing. That one missed. Six four. Ben takes set number one. Really, not much to uh, to change up here for Bradley. Been. Just a couple more issues catching wise him we've seen throughout the season. But if he can figure that out, still very much in this singles match. And with about 30 seconds to go, you see Bradley taking last few moments there in the player's cage. Ben's already on the court, ready to begin the second obligatory set. Reminder of the scoring here in battle court. First player to reach six points wins the set. First player to win two sets wins the match. We are ready to begin set number two. Bradley will serve to Ben. Bradley begins our second set with an ace. And on the board first, and serves again. Bradley's got a bit of an unconventional style, but he's got one of the hardest throws on the roster. He's able to cross that side wall off to serve. It sets up a particularly difficult catch, whoever's trying to catch it. Ben backing up, handles his serve, back beyond the 11 line, powerful throw to the inside in the corner. Bradley's Robote got away, sent up high the overhead screen, which is out of play. 1-1, Ben serves. Again, Bradley trying to get the ball back, and doing so, going a little too high at the front wall, hit the overhead screen. Well, under serve, came up short of the four line. Second serve coming up for Ben. Go, 
Brownlee puts the forehand over the top. Then on the rebote, makes a nice save. Bradley's at cross, makes a catch on the right side. Ben trying to take it off the side wall. That one dropped. Two points for Bradley. Reminder of the scoring here in Battle Court, ladies and gentlemen. The first player to reach six points wins the set. First player to win two sets wins the match. Ben opens up with the Costado. Powerful throw to the inside. Got him. Quick point ties it up 2 2. Spot on, beautiful throw by Ben. High degree of accuracy, throwing the ball from the Costado to the inside. When you're playing against it, you have to respect that it may be a two all. In that case, look how beautifully inside this goes. Boom. Straight to the inside, right to the side wall. Well thrown by Ben. Here's Bradley opening up on the forehand. Ben backing up, elects to run around it, gets out there in time to make the save. Here's Bradley now up at the nine line, big backhand thrown. Here's the rebote, forehand, Ben lays it up. Bradley now on the Costado, he whips it to the inside. Ben, nice scoop, here's a backhand. Rebote flicked over the shoulder, that's not gonna make it. Ben takes the lead, 3-2. That's a tough play, those balls that come to the side wall, you really have to be, your body has to be pretty far in front of it, your arm on as close to a full extension as possible. Sesta literally touching the side wall, gotta let that ball drop into your Sesta and just send it over your head the best you can. Trying to face the back wall and throw it over your own head, a little tough. That serve is an ace, well placed, crossing the side wall to score, 4-2 lead for Ben. Bradley advancing, powerful forehand. Dropped in the corner, Ben on it. Close to the side wall, rather, makes a nice save. Sidearm oh Kara my. opens up wow. and scores. What a shot there by wow. Bradley. Cuts the deficit to one. Okay. He was flirting with the pad on that one, no question about that. I mean, I imagine you were looking the same direction that I was looking. There's not an inch of skylight, daylight, whatever you want to call it, between the ball and the pad there. I imagine if we were up there, we might see a little bit. Yeah. But that was not just much. beautifully executed by Bradley to score. Hard serve is an ace. Bradley ties it up, 4-4 is the score. Bradley serves. That serve is an over-serve. Second one coming up. If Bradley does have anything left to put behind that serve, I'm not sure where he's keeping it. He is absolutely blasting that serve. Second serve is good. Ben takes it in back beyond the 12 line into the corner. Bradley lines up the rebote. Beautiful throw, played to pass. Ben now high off the front wall. Bradley controls the big bouncer up at the eight line. Hard throw again, sticks inside. Ben lining it up, makes another save. 
Bradley on the bounce, slow and hard to the inside. Ben scooped it up. Backhand just above the pad, and it scores. Five points for Ben. He's got a possible set, a possible match point. I'm not sure how much Ben had control, how much control Ben had of that ball when he threw it. But man, see, he's trying to control it there, but what a bullet comes low. Comes back on the inside, just beautifully executed. Bradley takes a serve on the right side. Long carom opens up, and it scores. We are tied up at 5-5. Is possible match point for Ben. It is set point for Bradley, looking to take this to a third set. Right off the jump, shoots the carom. Right off the tip. Ben controls the serve on the right side, keeps it inside. What a catch by Bradley, no look over his head. Ben now, middle of the court, backhand, right off the back wall. Bradley makes another good save on the rebote. Here's Ben, good control, backhand from the 10 line, blasted. This comes shooting out, Bradley saves it just above the pad, Ben's got it. Ben low and hard, that will score for the win. Point set and a hard fought match going the way of Ben. Even straight sets, hitting 6 4, 6 5. Ben adds another point for the Renegades on this game day. They now have four. Moving over to the sixth division in doubles. Up next, El Barba and Ubia take on Joseph and Arta. Chance for the Renegades to win the day. Breaking, he got there, blast the forehand, everybody out of the way, and Nicholas got hit. Go Sherry up in the front court towards the inside. What a scoop! What an amazing by Douglas. Go Sherry picks it up in the front court, whips it inside. What another man. There's the game day scoreboard, four points for the Renegades. After tonight, the Renegades and Chargers will have the same point remaining total, so you'll get a clear look at where these two teams stand. The Renegades have a chance to jump back and overtake first place. They're gonna need one of these next two. Joseph and Arte take on El Barba and Ubia first, and then Gosheri against Zuleika in singles. That will close out the day. We will hear from the winning player, Ben, four and one in singles this season. The Ben, always the one of the better fifth ranked players. He's worked hard to improve his game over the years and the results paying off here in singles and doubles in our spring 24 season. Let's hear from Ben of the Renegades. All right, Ben, congratulations. You finished the single seasons 4-1. You take tremendous pride in your game. So what goes into preparation for you to have, a, have success out on the court? Um, I come in at least once a week to practice, especially if I, you know, when I know who I'm going to be playing for on Friday, I watch a little bit of film and practice my game plan for them doing, which is exactly what I did on actually two days, Wednesdays and Thursdays. So that's all it is, just practice, 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 practice. That's all. Well, Ben, again, congratulations on winning that match. Great way to close out your single season. We'll see what else happens in today's game later. All right, thank you. Up next, six division doubles matchup. Joseph and Arta take on El Barba and Ubia. Joseph and Arta, one win came in their opening match. Since that point, they have lost six straight, but 
been knocking on the door. They've played some competitive matches over their last few game days. Their opponents, though, El Barba and Ubiev, it's been quite the layoff for this team. Exactly a month since they last played back on March 5th, coming in on a two-match losing streak in three and four overall this season. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to begin match number five, six division doubles. Representing the Chargers, we have El Barba and Ubia. And for the Renegades, it's the team of Joseph and Arta. El Barba serves, we begin. Arta, backhand from the seven line, powerfully thrown. Robote, left side by El Barba with a light touch. Joseph gets in there, makes the backhand. Ubia, Robote left side. Arta on the bounce, forehand from the eight line. Ubia's there. Big forehand by Ubia. Backhand to all with a light touch. Goes off the frame of El Barba Sesta. First point of this match goes to Renegades, Joseph and Arta. Joseph serves. One thing I like and respect with this team for the Renegades, it wasn't working out over their first couple matches, so they've really changed up the strategy. Arta's aggressive with his shots from the backcourt, and they've had a little bit more success their last couple days. I mean, taking matches to three sets, there was one match that was decided on the final point of set number three, so they're close to win number two. That ball lands in, dies coming out of the service box and scores. Two points for Joseph and Arta. Joseph serves. And that one really died, just landing beyond the four line. It would be, it couldn't get up there before the second bounce. Bit of an unfortunate break for the Chargers. Renegades got to take advantage and close out this set. They got an early lead. Arta on the catch. Here's the backhand from deep in the backcourt. Ubi is there. Backhand. Blasted from the 10 line. Big backhand by Arta. Will be again. Powerful forehand. Arts is there. Here's Ubia now from the 11 line. Karam scores. That's a point for Obarba and Ubia. Obarba will serve for the Chargers. Joseph was handling those well in the opening match, but a little bit of a power difference from Benny compared to Ubia on that right side. Ubia giving it pretty much everything he has in the tank. Just a little bit more difficult to control. Here's the backhand by Arta. Powerfully thrown, Robote coming out. Obarba on the Robote, puts it back to the inside. Arts is there. Two all is in. Three points for Joseph and Arta. Joseph serves. I think El Barba may have just thought by, that it was going out because he's been moving up on those balls well. Fair, yeah. And Arta's been landing these very well. That was a mistake on yeah. Barba's part. Ball over serve. Battle court rules allow for two serves. Second serve must be good. Good serve lands between the four and seven line. In that first match, El Barba looked a little bit more tired than we've seen him throughout this season. I mean, conditioning hasn't really been a problem for him. He just looked a little bit more gas than we've seen him in that second set in his first match. Here's the backhand. By Ubi, a powerfully thrown. Robote coming to Joseph. Joseph turns it midcourt. Here's the backhand by Ubia. Big backhand by Ubia. Robote forehand save. Did not have the distance. Two points for the purple shirts. El Barba and Ubia. El Barba serves. Ubia just has to utilize his power and pass these renegades and make life difficult on the Robote. And Arta's going to be aggressive. Don't want to have that matchup, but Arta against El Barba keeps shooting shots straight to the outside. Ubia just got to take matters into his own hands and pass whenever possible, doing a good job there to cut the deficit to one. Here's the backhand. Powerfully thrown, Robote coming out. Robote forehand by El Barba. Arts is there, drop shot. El Barba gets in there, got assessed on it, could not make the catch. That's an excellent turn of play by Arta. He has four points, along with Joseph. Joseph serves for the Renegades. 
and throughout his highlight career, Arta does have some front court experience. You say usually the front quarters are the one that throw a couple more shots, but that was yep. from his, some of his younger years. Played up there in the front, moved to the back court, but still utilizing these skills on a smaller court. Crucial to the success of this team. 4-2 lead here early on. What a powerful forehand. My goodness. Such a powerful forehand will score for Ubia. Joseph unable to turn the rebote. That's three points for El Barba and Ubia. El Barba serves. Not only was it powerful, but when it dropped, it was right on the side wall. Tough for Joseph to get in there and make a play to keep the rally going. Costado two all lands in and scores. That's beautifully executed by Arta. Arta has five points along with Joseph in a possible set point. And just keep attacking El Barba up there and doesn't have a response for that two all. Arta throws it powerfully, has a nice cut, and really opens up. Barba picks the serve. That two all is in the pad, and the pad is bad. Point and set for Joseph and Arta. We'll put two minutes on the board, come back out, and play our next set. So 6 3. And Joseph and Arta have been close, and they take opening set here, looking for their first win since the first game day of the season for the Renegades. Have been so proud to see the progress that El Barba's made coming into 2024 Battle Court, but today not the, not the best showing for El Barba. Ubia and El Barba had a difficult time establishing their, their partnership early on, but then seemed to come through about mid-season. Now, just an off day. Ubia is just raw power on both sides. I mean, just he blasts this carom. It doesn't cut open, but it's just way too much yeah. for Joseph to handle. Only one person back here that I know would caught it for sure. That's Andrew. Mm. I've seen your catching on the left side. Oh, uh, yeah. On your left side, you would have caught that. Yeah, Paul's got a lot of spin getting back to the right. We talk about that still. Not Drop easy. shot there for Arta. Well played, right time. You see how Barbuck did yeah. get assessed on it. In fact, went over El Barbuck's assessed and into Ubia's. Perhaps a little more communication between the players. Hark. Was that El Barba I heard in the cage? I think you might have. Just frustrated with that opening set. You see here, I mean, look at these two walls, though. I mean, really, I don't think anybody would have been able to track that one down. Perfectly done. Opened up a 5-3 lead. I'll tell you, Joseph and Arnta playing really well together. I mean, they, they've been getting better and better. They've been close to, I mean, nothing to really show for it. Let's see if they can close out the match, though. It's been one of the struggles for this team. They've gotten close, but it's getting that final point. See if they can do it here against a tough team in Albarba and Ubia. Ready to begin our second set. Albarba serves. It's served by Albarba, powerfully thrown. Backhand by Arta. Robote, that rebound from the back wall played by El Barba. Big bounce brought in by Arta. Arta, powerful backhand. El Barba gets in there. Drop shot, Robote, saved by Joseph. Robote left side, two all. Will score. Very well done by Ubia, changing things up nicely there. Chargers first up on the board. El Barba serves. And Ubiya starting to pick up the pace here to begin this second set. And really hard to, I mean, the way that El Barba has played so far in this match, expect that you're going to win these longer rallies. So you got to shoot the ball to the perceived weaker player. And a two-all worked out for him to begin. Another fine serve by El Barba. Here's the backhand by Arta. Ball missed in the backcourt. Renegades are on the board with the point. Joseph will serve. 
I just think he ran out of space. I mean, that's one you expect would be at a catch. Here's the backhand by Ubia, caught by Arta. Fine catch, backhand to all, scooped up by El Barba. Carambola by El Barba will score. That's two points for El Barba and Ubia. El Barba serves. El Barba's picked it up here to be in this second set. Defensive stop and then coming back with that softer Cortana or the Carambola. Again, if Joe. Joseph just has to listen out for his back quarter. You see here, look at this, nice scoop. But this ball was right between the Renegades. If it's that far to the inside, you'd rather have Arta go for it. There's a backhand by Arta. Ubia, beautiful catch. Big backhand, a little too hard, hit the overhead screen. That's two points, we're all tied up. Joseph and Arta. And just two unforced errors for the, the Chargers here, resulting in two points for the Renegades. Powerful forehand. There's the rebote by Arta. Point for Joseph and Arta. Yeah, that carom was just way too low right from the start. Almost into the four on a hit off the side wall. Again, just have to make the adjustment. You'd rather force Joseph to make a catch than to give the point away. Catch by El Barba. Cortada by El Barba scores. That's beautifully thrown. We're all tied up three points apiece. El Barba has to serve for the Chargers. And that's all he has to do. I mean, it, the two walls a little bit fancier and obviously score with authority, but soft back to the inside, forcing Joseph to run up on the ball and try to control it. That's where we see a couple more misses, and it takes the back quarter out of it as well. Ubiya calls for the catch. Backhand thrown powerfully. Robote coming out. Arta will keep the Robote for himself. Ubiya looking for Robote. Left side, he makes the play. Here's Arta. Drop shot. That's a Second bounce. It scores. Well done. Four points. The Renegades, Joseph and Arta. Joseph serves. Now Arta doesn't throw in the drop shot well from both sides. You see here, not a traditional drop shot from the Costado, almost like a softer Costado to the inside. Trying inside to get, placement. yeah. Remate Rincon. What he said. <laughs> <laughs> Robote forehand by Joseph. He makes the save. Here's Ubia. Ubia winds up. Blast it low and hard to the inside, and Arta's there. Arta backhand oh, to all. God. Perfect time to throw it. It scores. That is five points for Joseph and Arta. Possible match point. Well, this has been by far Arta's highest kill shot percentage this season. He hasn't missed many, and he scored on a number of them from both sides again. The Costado and the right side doing some damage here. One more point to close out this match. Backhand to all. Scoop oh, what a by scoop. Joseph. Carambolo by Joseph. Stopped by Ubia. Ubia powerfully from the forehand. Robote comes to the inside. Arta, perfect positioning to make the play. And score for the win. Point set and match for Joseph and Arta taking it in straight sets. 6-3, 6-3. And that secures the win for the Renegades on this game day. Five and a half points already. We got one match left, a singles match. Top division. Gosheri takes on Zuleika in just about three minutes.
As soon as that high lie ball leaves the cesta, you can't blink because every second is packed with action. Keep up with the world's fastest ball sport all game day long with bets on the matches, the sets, and each individual point. Find your favorite team or player and get in on the action with DraftKings, the official sports betting partner of the World Highlight League. The crown is yours. And you're watching Battle Court live from Magic City Highlight Fronton in Miami, Florida. Here we are with the game day's scoreboard. You see a point and a half for the purple, the Chargers. Five and a half points for the Renegades having a great night tonight, total points. And you see there that the Renegades have now stepped into first place. Let us hear from the winner, winners of that last match, Joseph and Arta. All right, Joseph Arta, congratulations on your second win of the season. Arta, I noticed you've been much more aggressive from the backcourt within the last few matches in terms of throwing shots. What went into that strategic change? Nothing. Honestly, it's Juice. He, he always tells me, listen, throw it to the back, go up, catch it, and kill the shot. He's the one who encouraged me to do it, so I'm just listening to him. Yeah, yeah, you know, just um, just seeing a few things from my perspective, know that he have a lot of years over me, but, uh, you know, we just communicate. I, I tell him what I see out there, and he gives me an opinion, and we go out there and we execute. Okay, so again, congratulations on winning that match. Let's see what else happens in the last match of the game day. Let's go, Renegades. Let's go, Renegades. Top-ranked singles match will close out the day. Go Sherry takes on Zuleika. These two played not long ago. Actually, the last time the Renegades were, sorry, the Chargers were in action back on the 18th of March. Go Sherry, decisive win in that one in straight sets. The Chargers need some points today. The Renegades have opened up a lead over first place. Zuleika, what a great start to this single season. Three wins and two losses through his first five matches, but since that point, he has lost three in a row. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to begin our final match. Top ranked singles representing the Chargers. We have number 54, Zuleika. And for the Renegades, we have number 20, Gosheri. That, sir, begins our final match. Backhand to the inside. Here's Zuleika, big backhand. Dropped in the corner. Here's Robote. Zuleika on the bounce, up at the nine line. Backhand passes. Gosheri on the move. Gets out there. Powerful throw. Almost wall to wall on that Robote. This one sticks inside. Gosheri into the two wall. That scores. First point of our final match to Gosheri of the Renegades. Gosheri's obviously warmed up from his singles before from his doubles match rather before. Knows that he hasn't always been as dominant in 2024 as we saw him in 2023 in singles. I imagine he's gonna put his foot on the gas and not let up for what he hopes will be a straight set victory. Robote forehand by Sherry. The rail just above the front wall, which is out of play. But he's got to keep it in bounds. Forehand to the inside, here's Gosheri. Gosheri throws a drop shot, that scores. 2-1 lead for Gosheri of the Renegades.
Uh, Sherry, because Leica rather, takes the serve off the side wall. Back to the left side, it goes Sherry. On right in the corner, not a lot on that remote days. Uleika lays it up high off the front wall, goes Sherry, middle of the court, into the two wall. Zuleika gets out there, Zuleika, powerful return, will score. Once Zuleika slipped into another gear and moved in on it, <laughs> you saw go Cherry's like, am I gonna stab at it? Or, nah, I'm just gonna, yeah. Zuleika didn't give him a chance to stab at it. He was committed to the two all, all the way. Powered it inside on the return. Well done. Well placed serve, crossing and scoring. Zuleika takes the lead, 3-2. Punishing serve. Sherry's got one too, but that was beautiful. Zuleika, long two wall, goes Sherry took off early, he stops it. Sherry powerful, returned, what scooped by Zuleika. Sherry in the middle of the court, faked the carom, he Got put him. it inside oh. where it scores. Well played point, goes Sherry ties it up, 3-3. Three, three. Court positioning and body language, I mean, you're reading, <laughs> yeah. you know, people will say what's involved in highlight, rather a lot actually. <laughs> You not only are watching the ball, but you have to be watching at all times. You're also, you're also trying to read the body language of your opponent. And these guys with the good fake movements, tough to beat. Zuleika with a big backhand into the Chula. That scores. Four, three lead for Zuleika. I like to say that he's been out here practicing it, but I don't know how you practice that. I mean, what you do practice actually is you try sending it through the air and dropping it low on the back wall. You do try that. In that case, though, that was just spot on perfect. Chulip hits the space in between the floor and the back wall that does not permit it to bounce out. Backhand right in the corner. Zuleika on the rebote, powerfully thrown. Back over the top goes Sherry on the move. Puts it inside. Nice scoop by Zuleika backing up. Back in, clips off the sidewall. Goes Sherry into the long drop shot. Got the first bounce and the second. 4-4 four, four is the score. Goes Sherry serves. Back to the inside, interference rule. The point will be a replay. 4-4 is still the score, though Sherry serves. Interference ruled right here. You see Gosherry try and get in there for the scoop. He did Stopped the right immediately. Thing. He absolutely did the right thing. Looked up. Go Sherry's like, you could have pushed me harder. <laughs> Our throw to the inside. Zuleika, big backhand, open it up. Rebote forehand. Drop just above the pad. Zuleika advancing. Go Sherry, long two wall. Zuleika stops it up in the front court, opens up for the carom. That'll score. Five points for Zuleika. He's got a possible set point. It's just a smart highlight. It's just such smart highlight. You know, they're both playing as though you can't make a mistake and you really can't. Beautiful Costado two all here. Doesn't open up though. Zuleika gets it. He sees Gochari on the move. Throws a carom that he hopes Gochari can't get to and he doesn't. 
Really well played by Zuleika and Gosheri. Lots of fans covering their eyes. Wow. Big backhand. Dropped in the corner. Forehand or Bote. Just does clear. Well thrown. Here's Gosheri. Into the two wall. That opens up to score. We are at 5-5. This is set point. Under serve, second serve coming up. Backhand in the corner, goes Sherry, powerful Robote, caught off the sidewall, Zuleika, there's the backhand, right in the corner, goes Sherry's got it. Zuleika into the Costado, inside placement, will score for the set. Zuleika takes it 6-5, two minutes, will play set number two. Zuleika not taking any chances there, could have thrown a two all, put it inside, hopefully out of reach of Go Sherry, and that's exactly what it was. Yeah, if you beat Gosheri, you really have to get him in the first set. He always has a pretty tough response. We'll see what happens here coming out to begin set two. Here we're on the ESPN3 Players Cage. Players taking their breaks back here in between sets. See Zuleika there in the foreground. On the right is Gosheri. That's the first set with the maximum number of points, 5-5. Five, five. Gosheri obviously going to be firing on all cylinders, trying to get back in this, who like obviously wanting to finish it. Much needed points for the Chargers though. This would be a big point. Game day score at the moment, five and a half for the Renegades, just one and a half for the Chargers. And much needed potassium. I, I, Absolutely, a banana, lot of banana. The, the, the banana is mandatory in between sets for Zuleika. Maybe the Chargers team. Seen a couple of them uh, really rocking a little vitamin K. Really? Periodic symbol, of course, still. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Got our second set starting here in. Just a couple seconds, see Zuleika tying back in. And looking for his first singles win since February 26th. That was against Douglas of the Warriors. We're ready to begin set two. Go Sherry will serve. That serve begins our second set. The backhand by Zuleika. Just does clear. Here's her bote left side. Little clip off the side wall. Zuleika on the bounce. Costado powerfully thrown. Scooped up by Gosheri. There's the backhand. Hard throw back in the corner. Here's Zuleika back over the top. Again, just clearing. Gosheri to the inside. Backing up. Oh. Zuleika could not scoop it up. Gosheri on the board first. With a point. Zuleika very careful. The first person that comes to mind in that catch is Olheron, who we've seen Olheron specialize in that catch. The high scoop on the left side is the best way to describe it. Olhron's focus, though, however, seems to be on the catch. And Zuleika there, have to believe he was thinking about what he was going to throw after he caught it. Fault over serve, second serve coming up.
Second serve is good. Go Sherry lays it up. Zuleika handles on the right side. Powerful forehand coming out. Picked off the sidewall. What a catch. Robote forehand by Zuleika. Powerful throw back to the inside. Here's Go Sherry. Great catch by Zuleika. There's a backhand from the eight line. Go Sherry backs up. He rips it off the sidewall. Forehand Robote. Picked off again. Go Sherry into the Costado. It's a two wall. Thrown to score. Two points for Go Sherry. Beautiful Costado two all there thrown by Go Sherry landing in and scoring. Zulika on the backhand. Robote forehand played up at the eight line to pass. Zuleika high off the front wall, big bounce. Go Sherry, got back in there. What a scoop. This one dropped right in the corner. Zuleika pushed it outside. Go Sherry waiting on the rebote. Turns it into a two wall. This stopped on the outside. Zuleika opens up for the carom. Ooh, Go Sherry got to this one with a good read. Forehand blasted back to Zuleika. Puts it inside. Go Sherry coming back for it. He lays it up. Zuleika on the forehand. Throws it low and hard again. That one scores. That was really smart highlight played both by Zuleika and Gosheri, positioning themselves well to make catches. Zuleika just in the perfect position to catch this in the air on the right side, no juggling either. Very well done. Zuleika straight into the two wall. This one stopped on the outside. Go Sherry, powerful return. Scooped, but not held on to. Just not able to stop the ball in his cesta. That ball was constantly moving in his cesta. Beautiful positioning. Just not able to stop it after he made the catch. And Go Sherry quickly into the serve here. Maybe looking to push the pace here. Filo straight outside, picked off by Zuleika. Zuleika with the carom. Ugo Sherry stops another one into the drop shot. Zuleika got up Beautiful. there. Quick release is going to score. Again, we're seeing very smart highlight. You're seeing the ball. What is smart highlight? Court position. It's moving to where the ball is to try to set yourself up to make the catch. I mean, whenever possible, just move through the air. Feet on the ground, of course. Catch the ball above your waist on the left side or right side. Much easier said than done, because your opponent's trying to make sure that you're not able to do that. But if you can, move to the ball, make that catch above your waist on the left or right side. The Robote got away from Zuleika. The ball is, is gone. Bring the ball back. Four points, four goes Sherry. A couple fans standing up there. Some brave fans too. You're not gonna you're not gonna see that all too often though. Great pick up there by Zuleika. Big backhand into the corner. 
Big backhand there by Zuleika. Hard of the inside. Goes Sherry on the rebote. Keeps it inside. Big bounce is tipped. Five points for Gosheri. He's got a possible set point. Looking to take this match to a third set. Over serve, second serve coming up. Backhand in the corner. Roger Bote high off the front wall. Getting by Zuleika. He makes a save on the backhand. Goes Sherry on the left side from the 10 line. Backhand dropped in the corner. Goes Sherry. This one is skate to the outside. That's in the overhead screen and out of play. Three points for Zuleika. Goes Sherry still has a possible set point. Tremendous effort by Goes Sherry to make a play on that ball. Don't know that he was going outside, but he was obviously going high to the front wall, caught the screen, which is out of play. Bote left side, goes Sherry, fires it just above the pad. Zuleika, Costado straight inside, goes Sherry, got a read on it, couldn't scoop it up. Four points, Zuleika serves. Now, obviously, all bets would be on Go Sherry finishing this off with just one point to go, but Zuleika's placement of that ball was excellent to the inside. Be very curious to see if we go 5-5. Five, five. Here's Go Sherry from the left side. Big backhand right in the corner. Robote laid up. That's too high. Third set coming up in just two minutes. Go Sherry wins set to 6-4. So we're going to go to a third and decisive set here in the final match of the evening. Once again, you're watching Battle Court live from the Magic City High Life Fronton in Miami, Florida. Third set between these two great front quarters, Stu, and look at that. You see the point total played through the first two sets, just one shy of the maximum. 6-5 of the first set, Zuleika's favor, 6-4 in the second set in Gosheri's favor. And you see Ben there, a little, uh, won a couple matches and now getting some overtime there, cleaning out the sweat from Gosheri's helmet. We did see, he, we did see Zuleika reaching for that right arm a couple times. We've seen that a couple. We saw that with Olheron. We saw that with Lopez. They they had a drop out. Zuleika, a little, little different situation here. He didn't grab the bicep. But Gosheri here is showing all the concern in the world here for his uh, for his opponent. He's got his set tied on. He's ready to catch He's the not first ready to get serve. this third set going. And game day has already been decided. The Renegades with five and a half points. Chargers just one and a half. In the grand scheme of our season, this is a big point. The Chargers can get this one. They got to stay locked in towards a top two seed. 
help him out come playoff time. Third set ready to go. Zuleika's got the serve. That serve begins our third and final set. Close to a perfect serve. Backhand. Wow. Oh, the two wall thrown by Zuleika gets him on the board quickly to begin this third set. That opened up beautifully and scored. Robote left side, Gosheri puts it back up the middle, Zuleika. Quick turn on the backhand, Gosheri looking forward on the Robote. He makes the save, drops it just above the pad. Zuleika into the Costado, inside placement will score. That is two points. Tremendous placement. Beautifully done. Backhand to the inside, pulled in there by Zuleika. Powerful return, this comes shooting out. Sherry makes a save. Zuleika, good reach, cuts it off up at the eight line. The backhand inside for Gosheri. Sherry's low runner cut off beautifully there by Zuleika. Sherry backed up to the 10 line, high and hard into the corner. Here's Orbote, forehand. Sherry into the two wall, stopped, but not held on to. Gosheri gets on the board, he serves. When the ball comes to the forehand like that, again with Zuleika, you gotta think he's thinking about what to throw. Again, he's been going to the carom, you know, that sharp carom. It hadn't really been working for him. Rote left side, right at the feet. Zuleika's there to scoop it up. Backhand. This one just out of reach. Gosheri comes back for it, makes the save. Zuleika with the seven line. Big backhand again. Dropped in the corner. Here's Robote, forehand. Gosheri up with the nine line. Backhand again, right in the corner. Zuleika comes back for it, tries to turn it into a two wall. That's a little wild. That sails out of play. Gosheri gets his second. He serves. You know I don't prognosticate as far as who I think is going to win or not, or on points. I am going to prognosticate that Zuleika is experiencing pain in his right arm. We're used to seeing him with one of the most powerful forehand robotes on in all of battle court. And that one just went, did not, went slightly past midcourt. Great catch overhead there by Zuleika. Backhand to the inside. Gosheri comes back for it. Makes the save. Zuleika into the Costado. It's a two wall. Gosheri got there. Quick release comes up short. That's three points for Zuleika. Gosheri to the inside, got him. 3-3, three, three, we're tied up.
Fault under serve. Second serve coming up. Forehand or bote, power to the inside. Backhand just out of reach, into the corner. Gosheri comes back for it, pushed it to the outside. Zuleika has to play the rebote. It's a two wall, but it's too wide. Gosheri leads at 4 3. It was the right throw. It was the right throw, but it was, dare I say, the wrong court. Muscle memory from many years playing elsewhere. Zuleika handles a serve, the backhand got away from him. Didn't have control as he released it. That's five points for Gosheri. Possible set and a possible match point. serve. Zuleika handles it. The backhand comes in low. Here's Gosheri at the nine line. Blast the backhand. Robote comes shooting out. Zuleika keeps it to the inside. Good body control. Backhand return. Zuleika on the forehand. Low and hard. Well placed to the inside. That one ate him up. It's dropped. Zuleika's got four. You really want to see this go to 5-5. Five, five. It's been great so far. Beautiful serve. Well, Sherry catch. handles that serve. It crossed deep in the backcourt. Zuleika up at the eight. Backhand. Just out of reach. Could catch by Go Sherry. Forehand or Bote, just clears the overhead screen. Goes Sherry on the back end. This one drops low. Zuleika into the Costado. It's a two wall. That's beautiful. Thrown to score. And Zuleika's come back to tie it up at 5 5 in our third set. This is match point. So beautifully done by Zuleika, who looked like both fatigue and maybe some right arm pain were going to take him out of it. But Sherry was moving up on this, not able to get to it. My, oh my, 5-5. Five, five. That's just the excitement that Battle Court brings. Go Sherry on the backhand, clears the overhead screen. Zuleika waiting on it. For Anabote turned inside. What a catch by Go Sherry. Ripped it off the side wall. Zuleika's Robote dropping a little lower. Gosheri couldn't get there in the air. Comes back forward. It's a two wall. Not opening up. Zuleika. Forehand, low and hard. Gosheri oh couldn't make the God play. Wow. Point set wow. and match. Wow. What a comeback by Zuleika. Takes it in the third set. Winning at 6 5. Renegades win the game day. Five and a half to two and a half. And we got a post game show coming up in just a few moments. What is Battle Court Highlight? The world's fastest ball sport, and so much more. Highlight is played inside a three wall court that measures just 120 feet long by 33 feet wide. The game is played with a hand woven wicker basket called a cesta and a highlight ball. The ball is as hard as a rock and it travels around the court at an average speed of 150 miles per hour. Players will crash into the sidewall or throw themselves onto the concrete ground without a single layer of padding just to get to it. Highlight is like playing baseball if you had to catch and throw with just the gloved hand. 
And it's a rally sport, kind of like tennis, but much more dangerous. Manny, there's a Karam Bradley on the move, breaking, he got there. Blast the forehand, everybody out of the way, and Nicholas got hit by the ball. Highlight is played as a singles match or as a doubles match. The match winner is the first player or doubles pair to win two out of three sets played to six points. Gosheri up in the front court towards the inside. What a scoop what an amazing by Douglas. Catch. Gosheri picks it up in the front court, whips it inside. What another another man did it he again. Made it. Two times back to back. That's freaking crazy. Here's Gosheri, two all return. Douglas reaching outside. Powerful forehand at the feet is missed for the point win. Point set and match. Point set and match. That's Douglas. respect. Every point rally begins with a serve. Then the players alternate catching and throwing the ball. While a point is being played, the ball can hit any of the court walls, but it cannot bounce twice on the ground. Simply put, the object of the game is to catch one more ball than your opponent, or better yet, to fire the ball so it can't be caught. When a player cannot successfully return the ball to the front wall, then one point is awarded to the opposition and the next rally begins with a new serve. A battle court game day consists of six matches, and the team that wins the most matches wins the day. Pick your favorite team, doubles pairing, or singles player, and cheer for them all season long. Or up the ante and bet on it. Battle court highlight allows for wagering on the matches, the sets, and each individual point. The ball is lethal, the game is lightning fast, and the action is limitless. This is Battleport Highlight. Hey everyone, welcome into the Battle Court post game show. Stu Nyman here with Andrew Blackman. The Renegades win the day Hi. five and a half to two and a half over the Chargers. Let's cut to some of the highlights and recap. The great action we saw behind us right from the jump, Stu, got started with this top-ranked doubles matchup here. Go Sherry Narantz against Zuleika and Benny. Number three set matches this evening, but they went very quickly. Backhand two all here by Benny. Missed on the scoop attempt there in the front court. Beautiful catch by Go Sherry, blasting the inside. Benny played, especially in those first two sets, he played about as good as we've seen yeah, him play. I would agree. Catching on the forehand, backhand, Zuleika. A couple off the frame here like that one. Beautiful catch here by Zuleika. Placement to the inside, that's on the wall. Look at this catch by Gosheri. Blast to the outside where it scores. Beautifully done. Gosheri again winds it up. The three wall out of reach of both chargers. Coming back here, that ball kicking up, tipped by Benny. Had to go three sets. Let go Sherry and Arantz get their fifth win of the season. Some points up on the board for their team to start off the game day, and then Eterbede and Bradley had a chance to remain perfect up next. Again, we saw another. Very aggressive Goanaga in the front court. I mean, just solidly blasting it from the Costado consistently. Not having a lot of experience playing against Bragley, so that's where he was putting the ball. Now going into set number two, Itrabide starting to turn it around and test Ben there for the Renegades. A lot of Costados and then the two walls as well. See that one was called in. Renegades wanted a review and replay confirmed. That was a good call there by the judge. A lot of catch by Bradley. And then the return tip by Goanaga in the middle of the court. Yeah, Goanaga frustrated with that play, but. And that brought us to match three, fifth division of doubles. Joseph and Arats taking on El Barba and Benny. But you know, Joseph, Joseph was very much on tonight, doing a great job. Yeah, Benny aggressive from the start. You see an early miss, but I think that was about it. 
just you see that good stop really well played there's a carom landing in that one again stopped by joseph look at the defense there protecting the net and got the return throw to score Now, Barba's got such a fierce look when he's going after the ball. He I mean, does, Those huh? close-ups when the ball's coming. I mean, look look at that. Look at that. It's all it's lot, gritting his teeth. Benny, on the other hand, maintains that composed baby face approach that he has to life. Same thing with the Rots. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Just got to it. Nice defense and then put it right on the wall where it scored. And Benny blasting the backhand. Look at Arats, though. Takes off for it. This is at 5-5 in the second set. Throws a two-all. Albarba couldn't scoop it up. Renegades close it out on the decisive 11 point of the second set. Straight set victory. Adding another doubles win on the day. They retook the lead, 3-1 to one and a half. And that brought us to a little bit of singles afterwards. Match number four. That was Bradley against Ben. Good catch here by Ben. Beautiful Karen, very solidly done by Ben. Just really well done. Look at Bradley coming out of the corner here, straight to the outside. Shots are working for Bradley. Doesn't throw many, but all from the right side, the two walls, the caroms, the outside placements. And then Ben, though, showing off that Costado, keeping it to the inside. See Bradley backing up. That sidearm carom. Beautiful backhand by Ben. This one is one I said I don't think he yeah, had yeah. complete control over that ball that came out a little low, but not bad. I don't think he did, but in the end, perfectly placed right on the wall. I mean, you see it riding the side wall the entire way. Beautiful catch by Bragley here. So much control on that right side. And again, another carom opening up. Just does get by Ben. You see Bradley here, Robote to the outside. Where the defense from Ben was spot on. Struggled on the catch early to begin this season, but not today. Get that one by to score for the win. Straight set victory for Ben. He ends his single season. The record of four and one. Then the sixth division matchup here, Joseph Arta against El Barba and Ubia. Ubia has so much power from the backcourt. That's one thing we've seen is catching has gotten better and better, which has been impressive to see. But today the throwing was spot on. But Arta, I'll tell you, man, is landing shot after shot after shot. Arta so aggressive today. Look at that. The drop shot landing in. El Barba couldn't get up to it. Beautiful backhand here by Joseph, who was impressive in both of his showings today. It'll be a, digging that one out, but Arta, though, right into the Again. Costado. Drop shot. So well done. Absolutely. Beautiful catch here by Arta. Hard backhand to all. Just out of reach. Very well yeah. done. Backhand two all scooped up by Joseph. Look this at is that. beautiful. Look at that play. Hard throw back inside. And Arta was just everywhere as well. Great teamwork today for the Renegades. And you see that ball just tipped by Ubiya backing up. And there's the backflip. That's how you know he won. First win in about two months for Joseph and Arta. That and also if someone's betting on them, they cashed. So, I mean, there That's are those good. two yeah, things. Sure. It's, it's the backflip, back and then also you should have seen money go into your account. And then the final match of the day. What a match this was. Just one point shy of the maximum, Stu. Amazing. Zuleika and Gosheri it's, it's, it's what you expect at the highest level. And, again, Zuleika looking as though in going to that third set, his arm was bothering him. And nothing worse than feeling pain when you go to throw the ball, especially when you're up there against Gosheri. <laughs> but it's catches like this that kept him in it. 
and took it to three sets. Just beautifully done. Oh, absolutely. See here back in the first set, inside placement, scoring there. And the Chula. Uh, Sherry into that long drop shot you see here and in the first set to like it just a little bit late to react couldn't get up there in time. As two wall stopped. Look at that carom, opens but, up the carom so well thrown. It's really well done. Beats him into the net there easily. That's what Go Sherry does day and night. He makes those Costado two walls look easy. But Beautiful. Zuleika fighting in that first set oh, inside yeah, placement just, here. Just, just out of reach of Gaucheri. At 5-5, five, five, Zuleika takes set number one on that final throw. Then coming up here, set number two, Gaucheri an aggressive start. Backing up, could not scoop it. Tough play. Very much so. On the inside again, just missed. Zuleika, you know, the two wall. Gusheri, oh, yeah, he was there, the but just trying to get in one motion, just trying to get it off. That security guard almost. Um, uh, uh, he was close. Exactly. Almost established a new type of relationship with Gosheri. Fall down save here on the two wall. Out. That's pushed wide. And got some of these final third set highlights. Again, still could, it was, it was anyone's game at this point. And then Zuleika smacks this two wall in just out of reach of Gosheri. And then all of a sudden it gets, it gets interesting. I mean, the whole thing was beautiful, but then it gets interesting because it looked like Gosheri was gonna run away with it. Zuleika makes this stop to the outside. And nice late scopes run. Scopes out his opponent. Gosheri's gonna do everything he can to try to make this catch. And it's just in and out of his Sesta. For the win. Amazing. And what huh? a way to end the game day. 30 of a possible 30, sorry, 32 of a possible 33 points but played between those top ranked players. Zuleika gets it done, adds a point for his Chargers team. Uh, they come away with two and a half. The Renegades still with five and a half. They make their move back up towards the top of our standings. And with those five and a half points, Stu, they are able to overtake the Warriors. And back in first place. Let's see those standings and see exactly what we were talking about there. Oh, Renegades, 54 points, one ahead of the Warriors, and yep. just a half point extra for the Warriors compared to the Renegades left this season. Chargers still comfortably in the playoffs, 47 and a half points. And look at the Devils, at game day in hand compared to the Chargers. They sit at 43, so a chance for the Devils to maybe sneak in to third place. Again, the fourth fourth and first place finishers will play off in the playoffs. Second and third place finishers in our regular season will play off. Then the winners of those two, those two semifinals will take place on May 17th in our championship. Player of the day race today, Stu. What do, what do we, I mean, a lot of good candidates. We, you know, we had, no, had some questions, no, I mean, but. Arta. I mean, Arta played fantastic sure. today. Obviously, Zulaik and Gochari played fantastic today. Right. Ben and Arats, they played fantastic today. Don't worry, I'm not going to mention everyone who played tonight. There was a lot of fantastic play on the court. So player of the day always comes down to, in my case anyway, comes to who stands out. And I had this idea in the back of my head, and then the, um, let's see, how the best way to describe it. I received a message from beyond. Mm. Yeah. I received a message from beyond. And it just convinced me that I was right. I ran it by you. You agreed that this was such a powerful message telling us that one guy above all others was player of the day, and that was Joseph. And let's say why. Because Joseph has a rough time of it quite a bit of the time. He's playing against some guys or on the court with some guys that have, in some cases, 15, 17 more years of highlight experience than he does. Right. He goes out there every day and really tries hard and does the best he can, not just the backflip. Today he was stopping balls. He was getting balls back in. Good carambola. All things that he talked about before he started playing, so he was able to execute on what he thought he was going to be able to tonight. And that reason and special request, which wasn't from Joseph, he was player of the day. Now let's hear from Joseph of the Renegades. 
Hey everyone, we are here with our player of the day today, Joseph of the Renegades, 2-0, winning both of your doubles matches. Your defense was spot on from the start. What was the key tonight? Thank you, thank you. The key tonight was just uh, make mistake-free, uh, play mistake-free highlight, you know? The less mistakes you make, the higher chances you have of winning these games. And uh, that's pretty much what we worked on and was focused on. And uh, a side note is that I've been working a lot on Thursdays with my coach and players manager, Coach JR. And um, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's happy with the gameplay. Um, every, every tools that he's given me, he's watching me go out there and execute it, which has given him you know, more confident to give me some more tools. So I want to thank my guys back there. I have some real backcourters today that played hard and it kept me going. And uh, I was in a groove today, they was in a groove, and, and it, we made it happen. And your Renegades are back up at the top, overtaking first place and taking out the Warriors there. What do you have to do to maintain that top spot? Well, I mean, this whole season, we know that we're trying to get to the top, but that's not our main focus. The way we play, we play like we're playing from the bottom. And uh, as long as we keep playing like that, um, you know, we're looking for the best, you know, we're hoping for the best. You know? Awesome, Joseph. He is our player of the day for today. Thank you. Shout out to North Miami Jaguars, you football team in Bucktown. Yo. Thanks, Joseph. And that was Joseph, our player of the day for today. Well learned. We'll be back on Mondays, too. Cyclones and Devils will be in action. Olharan will not be playing for the Devils here on Monday, so a couple changes to look out for with this schedule. We'll get started with fourth division doubles. Lopez and Flores take on Hydro and Rock. Then Manu takes on Urbieta in singles. Urbieta substituting for Olharan. Carbio and Flores against CRB and Robin. And then Lopez against Hyro in singles. Then Ikeda and Bueno take on Robin and Rock. That's fifth division doubles. We'll close it out. Carbio and Anu against Hyro and Urbieta. Hyro will be substituting for Olharan there in that top ranked doubles match. So now I'll be back here on Monday to bring you the Cyclones and the Devils as we continue on with our Spring 24 Battle Court season. Until then, have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you Monday at 5 p.m. Monday 5 p.m. Do you have any serving rituals? Yeah, I have a lot of them. Today we're comparing the tennis ball to the highlight ball. Just like that effortless look, you know, but it's really a lot of effort. Five facts about battle for highlight you didn't know. The ball averages a speed of 150 miles an hour and the world record is 190 miles an hour. Hi, my name is Anderson and I cracked this glass. I love y'all boys!